Hello, hello everyone. I'm MVL and welcome to an MVL gaming live stream. Today we are doing an absolutely massive unboxing. We're going to be unboxing a complete collection of Starlink Battle for Atlas for the PlayStation 4 and the Nintendo Switch. I'm going to show you all of the Toys to Life figures that come with the set. The complete collection, we're going to look at them, see what's there, unbox them, and then have some gameplay footage at the end. This is a lot of fun. Um, I'm very excited about this. I have desired to have a complete collection of this set since it came out. And since they've all dropped in price now, because they only had the wave one of figures before they dropped off the face of the earth, um, it's a good time to pick it up right now. So I have a complete collection. It's all brand new in box. I did a video showing the entire collection complete in box, minus doubles, uh, which I'll explain a little bit as we move on. But yeah, without further ado, let's have a look at a complete Starlink Battle for Atlas collection and unbox it as well. Okay, I'm going to show you the boxes first. So first of all, and this one I have already opened up, is the Nintendo Switch version right here. This one includes Star Fox. Unfortunately, it does require downloadable content to get it. Hey, Dead Inside, how you doing, my friend? Welcome to the stream. Good to see you, my friend. Uh, yeah, I've, um, I've opened this before. This is the only one that is not sealed for this video. I just put everything back in the box for the purposes of this live stream. Uh, but yeah, I've opened this before on a video that you can check out on my channel. And that includes gameplay footage as well. But we're going to be putting this up against the PlayStation 4 version on this stream as well. So that's going to be a lot of fun as well. And uh, yeah, lots of good stuff in this. You get, of course, the R-Wing. And you get a fire and a frost weapon. And then you get... Uh, Fox McCloud and another character there as well. Of course, it also includes the game and a poster of sorts in there as well, but really cool. I'll uh, give you guys a little bit better look at that when we come to it, uh, but uh, I'll show you the other game. So this one I newly picked up, and by the way, I think I paid about £20 for that from the retailer game at the time when I purchased it. And everything else here I got from Amazon after the fact for much cheaper. Hey, Digicon, how are you doing, my friend? Welcome to the stream. You guys are just in time. We've just begun. There's lots of unboxing to go through. I'm going to show you everything that's included first in the set and then I'm going to open it up. I've got, I've got some scissors ready just in case as well, in case we need to uh, cut anything up. Uh, but on the cutting edge here is the PlayStation 4 version. I got this for £5. Now this game retailed for a lot more than that. I believe the Nintendo Switch one was like £80 to £90. So I paid £5 for this. If you want to sample this game, this is £5 on Amazon at the time of this video. And that includes a different ship, the same pilot but no Fox McCloud, and uh, two weapons of fire and ice, and another weapon there as well. And uh, of course the game is different here, and uh, the packaging is a little different. Now the unfortunate thing about the PlayStation 4 version is even though it has slightly better graphics, uh, it does not include any of the Star Fox content, because it's not on the Nintendo system. Which is a real shame. Um, I think 90% or around about that of copies of this game sold were on the Nintendo Switch because of that fact. But uh, yeah, there you go. So this, this I think is really cheap. The uh, the Switch version has started to go up in price, funnily enough, on on uh, on uh, resellers. So uh, look out for that. Hey Claire, woohoo! How are you doing, my friend? The Silent Brit. Welcome to the stream, my friends. How are you guys doing? I'm going to be unboxing all of this stuff. Don't you guys worry. I'll just show you the uh, ships now. There were six ships in total. You have no idea what Starlink is? Well, you're in the right place because I will show you, my friends. It's a, it's a really cool space shooter game. Um, funnily enough, it kind of reminded me at the time of a game uh, called Freelancer that was on the PC where you go around and do space missions. But of course, it also reminds you of Star Fox a lot, which is where the Nintendo Switch version comes in. Uh, anyway, there's, there's six ship packs that came out. Never played this game? Yeah, it's, it's actually a lot of fun. I played the Switch version, which was already opened, but I've never played the PS4 version, so we're interested to see what that looks like. Uh, two of the ships were exclusive to certain vendors. So here we have uh, the Cerberus pack. This was exclusive to GameStop, I think. Uh, interesting. And uh, that includes the Pilot, uh, Razor, and it has a Shockwave weapon as well. Don't worry, I'll be opening these up as well. And then here is the Scramble pack. And I believe this was exclusive to Target. Uh, so yeah, one of the packs was exclusive to uh, Target, one of them exclusive to GameStop. But they sold the pilots for these separately. So both of these pilots uh, were available separately. This is Levy and it has a Fury Cannon. Fury! Furious weapon. Uh, both of the pilots were sold separately to other retailers. 
And I believe that's how they got across the exclusivity of these ships. But I got all of this stuff from Amazon. I think I paid about £10 for each of the ships or something like that. But you could get those pilots separately. I did not get those pilot packs because they would be doubles. And I should probably also mention I don't have the Xbox set um, of the main game. Because the Xbox set would be exactly the same. Except, you know, the, the game and the packaging will be different. And the controller grip will be different. So, you know, there's, I didn't see any real reason to get the Xbox version when I've got the PS4 version. And then here is Lance as well now this ship this ship was sold everywhere i like the look of the ship we'll be opening more up don't worry i'll give you a closer look in a moment it's hunter and imploder in that one and then we have uh nadir here another ship there as well and this has a uh, shade and the nullifier weapon and then you have uh neptune very colorful ship here with uh judge and uh, this weapon is the levitator so that's gonna levitate itself away i guess and then the final ship was the pulse ship full pilot on this one and uh, this includes the pilot chase and volcano is the weapon on that one fiery red uh yeah so those are cool don't worry we'll be opening up all of those have no fear just uh show you the uh rest of the stuff before we get to it there is, of course, um, oh my God, I've never opened this much stuff on one stream before. This is going to be crazy. But they did pilot packs. Technically, they did five, but I have three of them. And the reason I have three of them is, as I mentioned before, two of them were on the ships. The uh, Cerberus and the Scramble ship had two pilots, Levy and Razor, that were also sold in pilot packs. I think because those ships were exclusive, they want to get the pilots out there in other ways. Uh, but this pilot pack was, a, I believe, a European pre-order exclusive and that's star tail now this pilot was going for crazy money at one point this pilot was going for like 80 pounds on ebay from resellers when this game came out so i got this for like 10 i think i paid about five for different pilot packs but that's pretty cool glad to pick that one up like i said guys i've got all of them i don't have the extra pilot packs because they're in the ships but i also have uh, eli here there's eli and uh, fear not guys i will be opening them up and there is carl there's Carl. All right, I think I remember seeing this character in the main game, so we'll see it there. <laughs> They'll be screaming as I open stuff up. You know, to be fair, the stuff didn't arrive. I ordered everything else except the Switch game, which I already had. Because um, I thought, you know, there's no way it'll get cheaper than £20 for the Switch version. But they have. <laughs> um, but most of the stuff arrived in not great condition. And there were, what, four weapon packs? I want to say four weapon packs. And uh, the first one is this one. And that is the Crusher and the Shredder Mark II. And there is the Hailstorm and the Meteor Mark II there as well. And there is the Iron Fist and the Freeze Ray Mark II. I'm wondering if that's better than the one that comes packed in, the Freeze Weapon that comes in with the Regular one. And then Shockwave and the Gorse Cannon. Alright. And yeah, that's showing you all of it. Now I've done a video showing everything in the box previously as a bit of an appetizer for this. Um, but yeah, it's not going to stay in the box and in a future uh, gaming pickup video as well You'll see it down the line because I, I film a bunch of videos um, Together so you see this you see the boxes in a pickup video down the line as well the new plastic smell <laughs> I think it's like it's old stock at this point um, But okay. Yeah, let's open up. I'll open up first the uh, the switch one because I have already opened this I did a video of opening this a while back when uh, when this was new you know, now this this game is, you know, out of the limelight. And uh, I'm, I'm going to keep the packaging as I have kept the packaging. I'm not sure about the PS4 version, if I'll keep the packaging or not. But I'm probably going to leave, uh, I'm probably going to leave that pilot in there. Because he's a double in the PS4 version. So I might just leave him in here. Because I'm going to keep this box. Because it's got Star Fox on it. But so let's have a look at this box. There you go. I love that you see, it says it includes Star Fox. The only annoying thing is it downloads. But there are extra missions on this. You can't play on any other versions. Not gonna be summer for much longer. Yeah, miss the uh, miss the car boot sales as well. I think I uh, ma didn't manage to hit up any car boots. There's the back of the box. Shows you how it all works. And uh, yeah, I'll be I'll be keeping this box because it's got the uh, it's got the Nintendo stuff on it. It's, I think it's a bit bigger. No, it's the same size. <laughs> it's not the size that matters, is it though? I mean, I say that everyone knows the size is what matters. All right, we'll uh, unsleeve unsleeve that. <laughs> And uh, here's the box proper. 
Love the R-Wing on the design as well. And the back looks pretty good as well. I like that. With the uh, space on the back of it. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. So let's open this up. I have opened this before, so it's not sealed in any way. But the rest of them will be. And I'm actually unsure if I want to keep the, the backs of the, uh, of, the, of, the pl of the blister packs. Because when I used to collect um, Star Wars toys... Woohoo! <laughs> Suggestive, right? When I used to collect uh, Star Wars toys, I used to keep all the backs of them. But unfortunately, I kept them back where I had water damage. And all of the backs of the... Uh, all, of, all, of the um, all of the cardboard got ruined by water damage. And uh, I had some dioramas that came with some of the Star Wars uh, sets as well, which is a real shame. Uh, but you know, never know when I have more space, I might be able to display my Star Wars figures and possibly my wrestling figures as well. Alright, so there's that out of the box. Now, the question is, how am I going to maintain any semblance of space with all of this stuff around here? Alright, so, here are the contents of the box. I guess, firstly, I should show, uh, I should show the game and the, uh, and the little poster here that comes with it. So I'll do that first. All right, so you have the, you have this little poster here. I imagine this is going to be the same poster. No, actually it won't be because this will have Star Fox on it, won't it? Yeah, yeah, that shows me. This, so this poster will be different. This poster has Star Fox on the front of it. <laughs> you thought you woohooed. <laughs> Woohoo. All right. Uh, there's all of the stuff you can get. I think that's actually very useful because that shows you all of the Wave 1 pilots and all of the ships and all of the weapons. Yeah, so that's that's everything there, which is pretty cool. Now there was a wave two, but they were digital only because they stopped producing the figures by then. And the wave two, I believe, probably had about four more weapons. I don't know how many weapons it had, uh, but it definitely had three new pilot, three new uh, ships, which is a real shame we didn't get them. Hey, ninety nine, appreciate the drop in like, my friend, much appreciated. All right, so as we open this up, there's uh, there's actually a manual, which is pretty cool. Good to see you, my friend. How are you doing? Uh, although the manual it doesn't seem to actually include any information inside of here. It just seems to be, yeah, it doesn't actually have any info in it. But it's good to have, it's good to have these anyway. I just like having them. Just like having them. Uh, but yeah, it's just, it's just, you know, warranty information and stuff like that. And there's the, uh, there's the cartridge. Now before I forget, I'm going to take the cartridge out so I can put it in the, uh, so I can put it in the Switch. Because <laughs> we're going to be playing it. Hey Goku, how are you doing my friend? Thanks for dropping by and dropping a like, my friend. Much appreciated. Good to see you guys. All right, let's have a look at the figures. So I actually, I formerly had, uh, formerly had this on display anyway. Uh, the R wing, because it does look great. The R wing is my probably my favorite thing about this set. It looks really good. Looks absolutely beautiful, and uh, the wings move, which I didn't realize at the time. But the wings move out like it's using the thrusters. Yeah, look at me, grown man playing with toys, but uh, you know, <laughs> whatever. And that's where you attach the weapons on there. It's a good thing I've actually already unboxed this before, so I know how it works. The pilot slots underneath there, and the wings actually come off. I didn't just break it, the wings come off so you can put different wings on as well. Now I will be using the Star Fox uh, ship when it comes to the Switch version, but I'm going to try out different ships on the PS4 version when we get to that as well. Anyway, I'm doing good, by the way, guys. Thanks for asking. Hope you guys are doing well. Glad to have you with me. It's cool you want to fly one of them. It is pretty awesome, right? Uh, that goes on top of the controller mount. You need the controller mount. Uh, if you need to attach your Joy-Cons into this to actually use it. And uh, we'll actually set this up bit by bit as we go. So I've got my Joy-Cons here. Um, I rarely use my Joy-Cons because I mostly use my Pro Controller. But they will, or they should, I should say, slot into the side of this. As so, there you go, and uh, that, this is genuinely how they expect you to use it. Uh, you put these in like this, and there you have it. And then you're supposed to put, well you're supposed to put your pilot in first, uh, but your ship would go on top of this, I believe facing outwards? So, so you'd play it like this. <laughs> My goodness. Well, I mean, we'll give it a go, but I also have my Pro Controller with me as well. So we won't be, we won't be tethered to this. Uh, but you do need to use this to register the ship for the game as well. Which you want to have. You want to use the Star Fox content, I believe. And then inside of here is the pilots. Are the pilots, I should say. You have uh, Fox. Yeah, I remember these guys being really tightly in here. You have Fox McCloud. The coolest looking one. 
if it wants to focus on him. I'll bring him right up close to the camera. There you go. Now I've actually I've I've had to uh, put a bit of paint on this guy because um because uh, some of the paint scraped off and also um and also it wasn't that well painted so like his visor wasn't completely done when I got him uh, so I, I put some extra paint on the visor I've got to put him in front of my face I think otherwise it won't focus on him but there you go pretty cool looks pretty good to me looks pretty cool we'll put him in the ship. We'll put him inside of the ship and then put the ship. Well, actually, I think we have to slot him onto the onto this in the back there, so it'll register him with the little uh, the little thing here. So we'll slot Fox onto the front of this bad boy. Then we put the ship on top of him, <laughs> like this. There we go, and that'll be registered. All right. I actually might take him off before we play the game so that I can show you registering them. And then you've got uh, you've got the other pilot in there. In the plastic. I'm going to leave him in there because he's going to be doubled on the PlayStation 4 set anyway. Um, but I will take out the weapons. You've got a fire weapon. You've got an ice weapon which is pretty, pretty well in there. <laughs> so we'll try and get that out. Uh, come on. Mm. Am I making suggestive enough noises, guys? Alright, yeah. Anyway, I got the weapon out. Got the weapon out. So you have a... Uh, fire and an ice weapon that come with this i'm not really sure it matters which size you put them on but of course it'll be linked to whichever trigger you put them on so there you go i'm pretty sure they're that way round as well when it comes with them and there <laughs> <Woo -hoo. laughs> all right i'm gonna put this plastic back in the box because if i don't tidy up as i'm going we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna be <laughs> running out of space here <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm gonna put this back in the box because I'm I'm keeping this box and I'm gonna leave that pilot in there because he's, he's a double, he's a double. I'll see how my new one looks if it's any better. And there's a warranty, there's a piece of paper with warranty on it there as well. All right, I'll also put the poster back as well. Yeah, they <laughs> hopefully nothing breaks. Hopefully nothing breaks. That would be most unfortunate, most untriumphant. All right, let's put these in it. But yeah, some of the paint came off that one. I painted a little bit of it back on because I have a lot of paint, uh, paint brushes and paints for when I do uh, Warhammer Forty Thousand. All right, there you go. There's the box. I'm, gonna keep, I'm keeping the box anyway, so that's not a big deal. I'm definitely keeping that box. Not sure about the PS4 box. All right, and I'll, I'll put this hot mess aside, <laughs> and then I don't know what I'll do with the game case. But there you go. I'll put that hot mess aside, and I will grab. The PlayStation 4 version. So let's open this one up. This one is sealed. Sealed. And it's sealed with with uh, sellotape. That's not very good. Can I take the sellotape off without destroying the box? Let's, let's see if we can do it. I don't really care that much because I'm probably not keeping this box. I'm not sure. Okay, not so bad. It's not so bad. <laughs> I've got four pieces of sellotape to take off though. Should I just use my scissors? That might be easier. But I've got long, I've got long nails. So there you go. Ooh, 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 ooh! A bit of the sellotape peeling accident. <laughs> Satisfying peel, right? Um, yeah. So how do I get these top ones? Why did they put so much sellotape on this? I guess because this was shipped, they probably didn't want people. They probably want didn't want sleeve coming off. They just peel this as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there goes that one. <laughs> and uh, there's one more, one more. You want one, one more? I've got one more left in me. Hey, Rick Thomas, how you doing, my friend? Welcome to the stream. Just, uh, just, just fingertips away. There we go. Last one, last peel. Mm, there you go. All right. Now we can remove the sleeve. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. So there's the PlayStation 4 version. Different ship. Same pilot. Aside from not including Fox, it has a different weapon, which I really don't think makes up for Fox. <laughs> it doesn't have Fox in the game on the PlayStation 4 version, so there's that as well. So there's the, the difference to the box, if you are interested. It still looks pretty good, still looks pretty good, shows you what you get in there. I imagine the poster will be different. <laughs> Am I a secret radio DJ? <laughs> you know, when you listen to uh, DJs sometimes, they do, they do do a bit of that uh, audio sensory stuff, don't they? They do, they do get a bit close <laughs> to the microphone sometimes. A little bit close to the microphone. They, get a, they do a bit of that, don't they, sometimes? Sometimes. But uh, yeah, that would actually be pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I got, uh, I got the hair removed. <laughs> I did indeed, Rick. Yeah, but having said that, there will be videos coming on the channel um, 
that I still have uh, long longer hair on because I filmed a bunch of videos ahead of time. So there will still be that. All right, there's the box. Different ship on the front, of course. Uh, I still like the back. The back looks really good. <laughs> there, there's me keeping my eyes on the booty of the box. All right, now let's open this up. So hopefully this isn't going to be too hard to open up. And there's little um, there's little tags here if you want to hang it. You got hangers, I guess. Probably for the purposes of the shop. I can keep the show running for myself. You know, um, when I played in metal bands, um, we uh, one of the bands I was with, which was called Volition, which was a uh, which was a death metal band, and we did a, we did a radio show. And nobody else but me was talking, and it's it's something just dropped there. And it's not because nobody, it's not because I was talking too much. I did eventually talk too much. Um, I talked too much. Um, but nobody, everyone was sort of like, sort of like slumped back and not saying anything. So I was like, I'm, I'll just talk then. <laughs> so yeah, I, I did rattle on when I did, uh, when I did some radio before. All right, let me open this up. Oh boy, everything's all loose in it. All right, there's the contents. So let's have a look at what's in here. Oh boy, there's a there's a cable in here. And there must have been a USB cable with the other one. I just probably don't have it anymore. That's interesting. Oh no, it's not. The cable is attached to the controller mount. I was wondering how that was going to work. I was wondering how the controller mount was going to work. That's interesting. And it, well, the game, of course, is, is bigger. And they say bigger is better. I mean, it is, isn't it? It's, they don't say, you know, give me that little thing. <laughs> That's uh, the poster looks bigger as well. Could be bigger. Um, all right, and it says on the game not to be sold separately. I've never noticed that before. This one's sealed. We'll be opening this one up. That was pretty cool. Did they sell this separately? Huh. Anyway, let's have a look at the poster. Because the poster won't include Fox on it, so this would be a different poster, which should be cool. Have a look at that. All right. There's the front of it. Mm, I preferred the other poster. I thought the other post looked better. Never mind. Uh, you got the pilots on the back, which is the cool thing. But of course, no fox being detailed on the back there. But you got all of the all of the pilots on there. There you go, and all the ships. Sometimes ships happen. All right. So there's that. Uh, I guess I'm going to put that there for now. We'll we'll unseal unseal the game. All right. So it's got an official PlayStation 4 seal along the bottom of it. Uh, so we, this will be really easy to open up because we should be able to open up from here. So uh, let's have a look at this. And I only paid £5 for this, so you know, getting my money's worth from this regardless, I think. I might have to use my scissors. Oh, oh, come on, come on. Oh, it, 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 it's on the cusp of my nails. There we go. Am I missing the seal? Normally these are really easy to open, the PlayStation 4 ones. Because you can sort of like get the seal and open it up that way. But for this time, I am gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> ship happens, indeed it does, indeed it does, and it may well happen in this stream. Alright, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some scissoring anyway, um, because, you know, I know you guys came here to see scissoring, so let's just use the scissors. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's open that up, this will be easier, this will be easier, there you go. Alright. Ah, tear it down, okay, there we go. That should have been easier, should have been easy with a seal. Alright, so there's the there's the game. Different cover art on the game as well, of course, because no Star Fox. Uh, I again, I think I prefer the uh, prefer the cover art on the Switch version. There you go. I think I prefer the Switch cover art. I put that down. All right, and okay, let's have a look at this then. So there's the front of it. Side. Oh, for Atlas, and there's the back. Not much going on. On modern games as well, you don't often find much information on the back, because I think on modern games, they expect you to have already looked up the game and know what you're buying. Um, so the, really, the packaging is just eye-catching more than anything. But on old games, you used to get like a synopsis on the back of the game box telling you all about it. This just says, launch into space to free the Atlas system from the Forgotten Legion. That's it. That's, that's all of the story it gives you on the back. All right, and inside of here we have... The game disc and potentially a manual but like the last one it's probably just warranty information and it is indeed just warranty information and stuff like that which you know there's also all sorts of instructions printed on the inside of it there you go nothing fancy about the manual all right so uh, before we continue actually I'm gonna go ahead and put this disc in 
uh, the system because it's probably going to need to do because uh, it's the PlayStation 4 it's probably going to need to do updates and all of that stuff so I'm going to leave your site for just a moment making sure that my uh, PlayStation 4 is actually still on because it's probably gone to sleep you know what I like about old consoles as well if you turn on an old console it stays turned on new new systems do not do that they turn themselves off they're like ah eh, you haven't played with me for a while I'm going to bed <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely turned itself off. Okay, so I'm gonna put I'm gonna put this disc in real quick. Actually, can I turn it on from the? Can you turn on new systems from the? Uh, yeah, you can from the controller. Cool, cool, cool. Press the PlayStation button. I'm gonna put this in. Let it do its thing, so we can get to it later. Because it's probably gonna need to update on all. Nearly dropped everything. There you go. Ah! Ah! You know what? It's all t it's so tight in there. It's so tight. It didn't fall out anyway. But at least at least I did a manly scream, right? At least nobody's nobody can say I didn't do that. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna slide off to the side. Because <laughs> I've got so much so much Starlink stuff next to me. And put this disc in real quick. Stylishly. There we go. Stylishly. Ooh. Yeah. Did, did that did, did that look good? Did I look did I look cool doing that? Yeah, yeah, I did, I did, I did. Okay, anyway. I also sat on my headphones there. <laughs> it, I'm opening so much stuff, it's hard to keep everything in a place where I can get to it, but I don't have to sort of <laughs> tiptoe around it. Anyway, here's all of the PlayStation 4 stuff. Different ship, so I don't. I've, I haven't had the ship. Everything you're about to see now is new, because my the the uh, Switch one I already had, but everything here is new. Uh, all right, so let's take a look at this. Interesting. Oh, I should probably turn off my screen so it won't reflect on it now. Yeah, I knew Starlink's going to take ages. It's slowly updating that. So we'll turn off my television. That's going to take ages to do that. Alright, so let's have a look at this. Hey, no problem, guys. Appreciate you guys being here and checking it out, my friends. Ooh. <laughs> Nobody saw a thing. <laughs> Alright, so I'm not sure what to open first here. Uh, I guess I'm going to take out this grip because this looks weird. What the hell? How am I even going to get this on my... It's got a wire attached to it. The Switch one didn't have a wire attached to it. So I'm not sure how this is going to work. Uh, I'm not really sure what to do with the PlayStation 4 game. I guess I'm just going to shove it on the shelf. Um, Yeah, look at this. Look at this thing. What the heck? Does this need to be plugged into mains power? This is a, There's a USB on this one. Does this need to go into mains power? That's so inconvenient. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Oh boy, um, all right, what the, strangulation hazard, oh no, <laughs> well how does this work, okay I guess we'll find out, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll undo the cord, see how long the cord is, see how long it is, because bigger is better, right, oh man, the cord is all tied up as well, come on, you can do it, there we go, all right, oh no, well, this is a really long lead. Oh, the prophecy is being fulfilled. No, anyway. <laughs> um, if does this have to be in mains power? That's crazy, right? The switch one is wireless. What? What the heck? Is this to power? If you need to, maybe this is if you need to power up your controller while you're doing it. That's weird, man. That's weird. Anyway, this this thing that looks like a trigger. It's going to have to go on my PlayStation controller somehow. So, um, so weird. How's this going to work? Because I actually, it's all plastic. I don't see anything that actually attaches. So it obviously goes in here, but the inside of this is just plastic. There's no attachment. That's weird. So this, oh no, it goes on this side. Oh, I thought it was the other side. Okay, so this goes here. And then it's going to cover up the PlayStation button. A snug fit there you go and then yeah how's this gonna work then i'm so confused it's definitely got stuff in weird i have no idea how this is gonna work but i guess it just is all right so there's that <laughs> interesting <laughs> if you saw it i'd have to silence you and you know i have you know i have enough cable to do it <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's open this thing up. It's incredibly elaborate. I know, right? I have no idea how it works. You got your information in here. I'm gonna take the ship out. Um, this is a weird-looking ship. It's not one of the. This one comes with the same stuff here, except for the grip, obviously. 
and the game comes in the Xbox version, so I didn't see any point in getting an Xbox version. So I just have doubles of virtually everything. Alright. Come on. Mm. There we go. There we go. Popped out. Alright, so this is the other ship. Not got the wings on right now. I'm saying that, sorry, it hasn't got the weapons on right now. It does have the wings on. There you go, the wings are here. Alright, it's just got short stubby wings. Huh, interesting. Like kind of, um, like, like equivalent of a chode sausage. Like wider than it is long. Okay, so there's the ship. I actually don't mind the ship, it looks pretty cool. Interesting. We'll be using this, I have to put this aside so I make sure we use this one on the, uh, on the PS4 version. And then it comes with the same pilot. So there he is. We're going to take this one out. I'm probably not keeping this box. There you go. There's that guy. He's the main character of the game. There you go. And the person that most people probably play with. So sweet. It does look pretty cool, right? And then we have three weapons here as well. I'm not sure it, what's the point of this weapon. This is just like a regular weapon. So we'll take these out. These are always... Annoying to take out. I'm gonna pop these out. Ugh. Come on! Ugh. There's the ice one. <laughs> and there's the. Alright, get this out. Smoothly does it. Boy, I bet this sounds amazing. <laughs> yeah, there we go. And then there's one more weapon. Yeah. Ugh, there we go. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, I'm all worn out after that. Alright. We've got three weapons. We've got three weapons here. I bet that sounds amazing, guys. I apologize in advance. Same two weapons as before, the fire and ice. But there's this other one. And I'm not really sure if this is better. This, like, Gatling cannon type weapon. I think I'll probably put this on. And then I guess I'll leave the ice. I'll go, like, fire and this. And then these, I guess, will go on the sides of this. So, I mean, let's go fire on the that. Is that this way round or is it that way round? Because the symbol's on the back. Interesting. I'll put it that way round and assume that that's the way round. Oh, so this has no symbol on the back. So maybe this is no element. Maybe that's what it is. But there you go. There's that. Got some weapons on this thing. And we'll put it on the controller mount, which is weird. Oh uh, yeah, I'll have to put the dude in first. So this dude actually looks pretty well painted considering. He's, there's some paint chipped on his hair, but you know, there always will be. So I'll put that in. I have no idea how this is actually communicating with the PlayStation controller. That's what's freaking... Oh, no, you know what? I bet this has to be plugged into the PlayStation. That's probably why. That's how it communicates. Yeah, that's definitely what it's going to be. Oh, well. That explains that. It's not a charging lead. The USB will definitely have to be in the PlayStation. And then this, I imagine, goes on like this. <laughs> it barely fits on the pilot. Okay. The so pilot needs to come back a little bit more. There we go. There we go. And that, uh, well, that's awkward. It kind of doesn't fit on the pilot. Oh, well, that's good enough. Good enough. So there you go. <laughs> and this is genuinely how you expected to play the game. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, Godzilla. How you doing, my friend? Welcome, welcome. Hey, appreciate you dropping by, Drewski, and thanks for that big like, my friend. I got a lot of, uh, got, got a load of stuff around, uh, all around me right now. Anyway, I'm going to clear up some of my mess. I'm going to clear up some of my mess. I may keep this box. I may not. Uh, it depends, like, because the only thing I'd really be keeping in it is the poster. Because the poster won't fit in the game box. So that's interesting. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I want to keep the box around just for that. But all of this other packaging I'm probably going to get rid of. We've still got a bunch of stuff to open up. How are you doing, guys? Good to see you, my friends. All right, let's go put the uh, poster back in there as well. And uh, we'll sort that out when it comes to it. But yeah, just, just save me some mess. I've got a lot of stuff left to open, guys. A lot of cool stuff to open. All right, let's put this away. Got to clean up my mess. Clean up your game room, MVL. Clean it up. Your dirty, dirty game room. A dirty, dirty game room. Alright, there we go. Alright. So there's that. Okay, we'll put that aside. Right. Put the box on eBay. <laughs> Alright, so let's do the ships. Okay. So there's six ships in total. Uh, this first one, I believe Game Shop, one, what, GameStop. One of the ships was GameStop, one of them was Target. I believe this was GameStop. I mention it in my other video where I show everything in the box, of course, but now we're going to be taking it out of the box. Um, 
beautiful packaging for these. Um, like I said before, for my Star Wars figures, I used to keep the, the back. I used to be really careful. I'm not going to be very careful here. But I used to keep the back because the back here would be good to show you what the ship looks like. And it would also show you the pilot and the weapons. But, you know, all of that information is also on the posters. Um, so, yeah, but it does look cool. I like how they show you putting it on. All right. So, yeah, let's open this up. All right. And, uh, yeah, I had all of my, I had all of my, uh, I, hold it up so you guys can see i had all of my star wars uh figures and uh they got they got water damaged unfortunately i'll try i'll try to be sort of careful if i do decide to keep the backs i'll try to be sort of careful here all right because i might mayhap i will mayhap i won't oh you know what? i've already ripped it there you go <laughs> so let's open this up carefully all right, looks pretty good. It actually wasn't that bad. There's a little bit here which is probably going to rip. There you go. Yeah, ripped. Oh, well, what are you going to do? All right, well, that's not that's not so bad. I'm probably not keeping the backs, but if I do, that's in okay condition. Got that down there somewhere. But this is the important part of it. Opening new figures. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, I've got a lot of stuff to open, actually. This is going to be a lot of fun. There's a Cerberus. I don't need this as well. I'm gonna have so much plastic littered around the place. I better, I better keep that lead for the PlayStation ready. Man, that's such a silly way of doing it. The Switch one is definitely the way to go because that does not need a cord attached to it. Uh, all right, yeah, there's the there's the Cerberus. The pilot here looks really cool. So I'll take her out there. All right, let's have a look at this pilot. All right, she is looking pretty cool. If it wants if it wants to focus on it that is and she's got a guitar on her back which is really cool as well pretty badass i love the pose as well that's a pose that's the power pose very cool looking pilot a razor fingers gloves on that as well comes with a weapon here doesn't seem to be a special weapon of any kind there you go there's that weapon all of the ships come with one weapon and then the ship itself, I think, looks really nice as well. Let's open that up. Right. Is this going to be easy to get out of here, or is this going to be a pain? Come on. There we go. Oh, not bad, actually. Not bad. I'm actually going to put the plastic together so that I can save a little space, because I'm going to be running out of space here. All right. So this, this thing actually looks really cool. I love, the, uh, I love the little shark fins on it. They look pretty cool. Power pose. <laughs> looks pretty cool. This one looks pretty good. It's going to be hard for me to remember who goes with whose ship. There you go. There's uh, there's that one. She'll go in this ship. Is there any way to put her in here without? No, there's no way to put her in without actually. Oh no, they do sort of. They sort of lock in the bottom there. So yeah, if you can like look, you can sort of see them through the front. Pretty cool. And then there's the weapon there as well. So I can actually keep them together that way. I imagine the plastic won't hold up forever though if you do that. So that's probably a little worrying. Where do the weapons go on this one? On the bottom. Oh, interesting. And so the weapons go on the bottom here. There's that. You know what? I've got a spare weapon left over the freeze ray. Spare from the other ship. So I'm just going to put that on this one as well. There you go. Freeze ray. Freeze. There you go. There's that with two weapons on it. All right. First ship. First ship. Let's open another one. And this was, I think this was the Target exclusive. Now both, both that ship and this ship had individual pilot packs. But I didn't get them because the pilots were in this. I didn't want doubles. You already end up getting a double if you get the Star Fox set and the uh, PlayStation 4 set anyway. Anyway, let's open this one up. Uh, very colourful one. It's got like a monkey on the front of it. And this is the Fury Cannon and Levy. Okay. Alright, this one is not as loose as the other one was. The other one was a bit looser. Uh, yeah, I have actually, I've actually played the Star Fox uh, game on the Wii U. Myself and the Journey Monkey did a video about it. And uh, man, we, we hated that game. The controls are really bad. The controls on this are much better. And you know what? Given how this game is actually not that bad to control, I wouldn't mind seeing these guys make the next Star Fox game. This, I'm just, oh, this one, this one has not gone so well. Look at that. Look at that. I've, I've mucked this one up. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, I guess that's happening. Oh. 
Oh boy, that one was not so good. <laughs> There's the back of that one, actually, I didn't show it. There's the, uh, the back showing you how that one works. But I've ruined it. I've ruined it. Yeah, look at look at that. Do you I can I can nail? Probably. I'm gonna use the scissors anyway. <laughs> All right. There you go. We're in. Okay. Ah. <laughs> okay. All right. We don't need this anymore. So let's have a look at this thing. Different pilot pack in there. And uh, yeah. So let's have a look at the pilot. There's this guy. It looks like these little bits of plastic on the side are what attaches them to these ships. He's in a sort of hoodie. Interesting. There's that. Doesn't want to focus on them because it auto focuses, but you know, you can sort of see him. Cool looking character there. So there's that. It continuously out of focus, but there you go. I'm going to put it in the ship anyway. Um, but yeah. He's in, he's in like a blue hoodie with a backpack. Levy. Let's have a look at his uh, the weapon. I guess I'll take the weapon out next because the ship is really big. Oops. This is a, a flame weapon. It's got a, it's got a fire symbol on it, so I guess it's a flame weapon. And then you have the ship. Let's see if this one comes out easy. But hopefully easier than the uh, than the than the rest of it did. All right. I'm actually just gonna push from the from the back there. That worked out way better. Way better. All right, interesting looking ship. Cool looking. I can hear the disc of, of the PlayStation 4 still go, and I was right to put that in before I played it. I was right to do that. I like the monkey on the back there. Pretty cool. Good looking ship all around, I think. And then let's see, see if it wants to show him. It doesn't, it doesn't like focusing on him. As close as I can get him. Put him in front of my face, maybe. <laughs> It does, yeah, the camera doesn't like this guy. He's too camera shy. He's out of focus. Uh, never mind. Never mind. We'll focus on the ship. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, we'll put him inside of this. There you go. Even better from further away. So many goodies. I know, right? Funny enough, these will be on my uh, December pickup video because I went ahead and filmed my next bunch of two camera stuff for my pickup videos. And I think all of the Starlink boxes are on my December pickup video. And it looks like the weapon goes on here. Um, you're going to see various stages of, uh, of, 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 uh, of hair in those videos as well. Anyway, there's that ship. One weapon on that one. Looks good to me. All right. They're looking good next to each other as well. We'll, uh, we'll have a quick go over them as well before we, uh, before we play the game. Uh, I'll put this away in here as well. Paid about £10 or so. For all of the uh, all of the ships, uh, a lot cheaper than when they were when they came out. I want to say they were around about twenty five to thirty when they came out. I know that they're still quite expensive for the digital versions. You can get everything digitally, including the Wave Two, which never came out physically. Um, but you are you'll be paying more for them digitally. Um, all right, the next one is Lance, and this has Hunter and the Imploder weapon. Interesting. I'll show you the back of this one before I before I break it to bits. There's that one. All right, you know some of these. Some of these say electronic games on the back from the from the uh, barcode uh, sticker on the back. Some some of them say 3DS. These are not 3DS accessories. All right, we'll see how good this one is put together. Huh. Oh boy, good thing I've got the nails right. This one is not coming off. Uh, there you go. There's going to be so many amazing grunting noises in this stream, guys. <laughs> All right, there we go. I'm, I'm being less careful now because, you know, I've already wrecked one of them. Okay, so there's that. Put that aside. Then open this one up. The packaging! No! Hey, Jonah, how you doing, my friend? Welcome to the stream. There you go. There's our Lance and the pilot in that one. Take out the pilot. Have a look at them. Let's see if it wants to... Put... Whoa, this guy's in there good. <laughs> I'll push from the back. Not coming out. Not the packaging. How are you doing, Mystical? Welcome. Boy, I bet this is a pleasure to listen to. <laughs> I finally got it out. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, a little bit of paint missing on this guy's hand, but that's to be expected. 
There you go. Oh, what, oh, it'll focus on this guy, but not the last guy. There you go. What's he got there? Oh, that, that's like that's on his outfit. That's pretty cool. There you go. Focused on him for a second. I think it focused on the last guy for a second, but then it went out of focus. They're too small to uh, focus on. You good? That's good there, my friend. <laughs> Your ears. Uh, sorry, there's going to be a lot of opening. There's the weapon. Uh, whatever weapon type that was. <laughs> ASMR, yeah, the audio sensory stuff, right? They'll, they'll love this. They'll love it. Alright, let's open the ship. Ship came out a lot easier. There you go. Yeah, Resident Evil 4 was a lot of fun. And uh, Resident Evil 3 is pretty cool as well. I think we I think we've got uh I think we've got uh, just the modern Resident Evil games left for our challenge of doing them all. Uh we're close to finishing them all of them. Oh there's that one. Similar wings. Actually the same wing. The same wing type as the other ship. Actually. And now that I think about it, the front of the ship. The, the wings are the same, right? The front of the ship is exactly the same. I call shenanigans, the front of the ship is exactly the same as that ship. Those scoundrels. Oh well, whatever. <laughs> okay, so there's that ship. Actually fairly samey now I look at it. Now I actually look at it. Fairly samey to one of the other ships. Oh well. Nice colour scheme though, nice colour scheme. We'll put the pilot in there. We'll put the pilot in there. There you go. Oh, I don't like how tough these guys are to get in there. Get in there! Oh boy, that was... That was that was cringe worthy that. <laughs> you like the red? It is quite nice as well. Are these guys going? Am I get, actually even going to be able to take these guys out if they're in that tough? I guess we'll worry about that later. That's for uh, that's for later MVL's problems. All right, all right. Put the weapon on there. Okay. Maybe they'll loosen up like my Evercade cartridges did. All right, three more ships. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, these are these are pretty interesting. So next one is Nadir, and that shade is the pilot, and the weapon is the nullifier. Have we had a nullifier before? Interesting. I see that symbol looks familiar. And there's the back of the box. There's all of that. She looks pretty cool. All right, let's open this up. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, this one was much easier. There you go. Some of these are looser than the others. Alright, so there's that. We'll pop this out. See if it focuses on this one. Dropping all the stuff around here. Alright, so this is an interesting look. At least this ship looks different. And actually, both of the wings are different on this ship as well. So that's kind of cool. I'll take out the pilot. Alright. Ooh, double blades. I like it. Like Drizzit from, uh, like Drizzit from Icewind Dale. And it does not like focusing on these. There you go. Up close to the camera, you can do it. Okay, if I send them super close to the camera, it will. Alright. There you go, there's a good look at that one. Maybe I can get away with doing that on the uh, the other one then, if I, if I put it right up close to the camera. <laughs> you know what, it's not even coming out. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Alright, right up close to the camera, so you can see that one that I didn't show you earlier. No, it still doesn't, it doesn't like this guy. Focus on him. Focus. Now, he's focusing on my nose in the background. There you go. Okay, you sort of get a look at him. That's about as good as it's going to get. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to put him back in there. Well, yeah, I'm worried about the plastic on these. About how tough it is to get them in there. They should not have made it that tough. Alright, but yeah, there's that, this shade for this one. And uh, let's have a look at the, uh, the weapon that comes with this. The nullifier. Ooh. There's that. Interesting looking weapon. And the ship, I like the look of this ship a lot. So yeah, this, this ship looks way nicer than the previous ship. Because it's like, it's, it's, it's much more different. Look at that front. That's cool. I like the look of this one. Both of the wings. The wings are both different. So it looks like this ship has been pieced together out of other ships. Oh, look at that. It looks like I'm in the ship. Except I'm giant. I like the look of this one a lot. Alright, let's put her in there. Would she be piloting it with her knives? Weird. Oh boy. <laughs> that is too tough. It's too tough. Get in there. 
Get in your ship. You know, I'm not going to put her in there because it's too tough. <laughs> All right. And yeah, there's a weapon. We'll put the weapon on. All right. So let's put that aside. Running out of room for these ships. Oop. Yeah, it's probably to make sure. You know, I actually don't think they, they need to be attached because they, they need to be... They, it's only important that they need to be attached to the control a bit, not that they need to be attached to each other. So maybe it is so they don't fall off while you're playing it though. But I think you only need to sort of um, touch them on it and then you can take them off again because they're like registered for a certain amount of time. Um, but it's actually, you know, it's probably better. And this is even, even I'm saying this, it's probably better to get the digital versions because the digital versions. Um, like you can just switch them whenever you want. You don't have to keep putting them in. Hey, 8-Bit Glitch, how you doing my friend? Welcome to the stream. And in fact, you can't get the Wave 2 physically anyway. The next ship is the Neptune. Interesting looking ship. Very clean looking ship as well compared to the other one we had. There's the back of that one. The, uh, the pilot here is Judge and the weapon is Levitator. And uh, another one describes itself as an electronic game. One of them says it's a 3DS game on the back, which is pretty funny. That would be the aftermarket sticker. How are you doing, 8-Bit, my friend? Welcome to the stream. We mucked that one up. We mucked that one up, but, you know, I'm not keeping the backs now, I have decided. All right. Although I do like the X's on the back, very x manny. Hey, Bunny, how are you doing, my friend? Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. There's the ship there for Judge. All right, let's take this one out. Oh, is this pilot pilot stuck in there? This is the only pilot I've seen that has like a little. This is the only pilot I've seen that's actually. I don't know if you can see. There's like a tie around them. That's attached to the back. That's the only pilot thus far that I've seen with a with a with a tie in them. So I'm gonna have to cut that. Interesting. You play Starlink. Nice. How do you like it? Or do you not? All right. Yeah. Now we can take that out. Interesting. That's the only one I've seen thus far that has been attached. All right. There's the judge. Interesting looking pilot. The focus is really bad on anything tiny because the 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 uh, the uh, webcam is designed to focus onto my face and not onto objects. There you go. So there's that. A little, little easy to see if I pull it back. It's good. That's good to hear, my friend. Glad you like it. There's the weapon. Oh, the weapon's also attached. Uh, I'll have to cut that one out as well. Interesting. Maybe they did that with some of them and they didn't do it with others. There's that. Weapon. Kind of looks a bit like a torpedo. Uh, space version of Juggernaut. Kind of does, yeah. Alright, we'll take this ship out. This is a good looking ship. I wonder if it's also attached. It doesn't look like it. There we go. Alright. Take that one out. Okay. A uh, cool looking ship here. There's that. There's that. Lots of transparency on this one as well. Interesting. Look oh, I like the cockpit. Looks like an underwater ship. That's cool. Man, I really want to put this guy in there then. Because you'll be able to see him through the sides. Let's try that. Hope he doesn't... Oh yeah, he gets in there alright. So you, this guy's really big, you can see him in there. Of course you could put any pilot on any ship if you wanted to. There you go. I'll put the weapon on as well, there you go. Boop. There's that. Alright, for running out of space I'm just going to pile the ships on top of each other. Oh, they're all tumbling down. Okay, there we go. Well, we've got one more ship and then we're on to all of the little accessories. So we've got Pulse here. Which comes with uh, Chase. And the uh, volcano weapon. There you go. There's the uh, there's the back of that one. Like I said, some of these correctly describe them as for the Switch. Some of them say they're for like electronic games. Some of them say for the 3DS for whatever reason. All right, let's open this up. All right, there we go. There we go. All right. Okay. Take that out. That actually came out pretty easily. Pretty easily. We'll put this away. Actually, I do need to take this off anyway. <laughs> take that off. And then have a look at this one. So this one is also not attached by anything. But I like the look of this pilot as well. So this pilot 
It's on like a wave of ice or wave of energy or something. Pretty cool looking. Put it above my face so it focus so it hopefully focuses on that. There you go. The camera likes her. Doesn't like that other guy. This one looks very cool. I love the stand. I love the stand on that one. And this red ship. Someone said earlier they like the red ships. This ship is really red. There's the weapon. Interesting looking weapon. You can actually see the uh, the back parts of that weapon where the ammo might be held. Then we'll get the ship out. So it was only Judge's ship that had the uh, that was attached in any particular way. You know what guys, I've been dumping all of my plastic on the floor. Not thinking about the fact that I'm going to have to go back over to my system to put the Switch game in to play it. <laughs> that was not thinking. I'm going to have to step over all of that plastic. There's that ship. I really like this ship design. I really like this ship. It looks really good. Pretty cool. One of the coolest looking ones, I think. In terms of ship. It's just nice. It's just nice and clean looking. Nice and well designed. Yeah, I like this ship a lot. Let's see if we can put her in there. Alright. Of course, you know, Arwing is de facto favourite. But this will be a close second, I think. There's her inside of the uh, cockpit. We'll put the weapon on as well. Nice. Yeah, good looking ship. Good looking ship. Good. Hey, catch you later, bunny. Thanks for dropping by, my friend. Alright, we've got some pilot packs to show. Uh, first one is the uh, pre-order exclusive. This was a European pre-order exclusive on eBay. This thing was going for crazy money, crazy money. And uh, yeah, uh, I love the look of this guy. He's a small, cute furry creature. It looks really cool. Uh, there's the back of that one. Shows you how they work. So how you put different pilots in there. Reminds you of an F0 racer. That's a good point, actually. It did look a bit like an F0 racer. Uh, but yeah, this this guy was going for like. 80 to 90 pounds at one time. This one is still one of the more expensive ones to get. Um, the Star Fox set, if you want it sealed, is going up. The Star Fox set is going up. You can get the PlayStation 4 version of the game for like a fiver. And that's what I got it for. Uh, but this guy, this guy was really expensive for a little while. Uh, but much cheaper now. I paid about 10 for this. The other pilots I paid like 5 for. And then the weapon packs, I paid 5 or less. Like between 5 and 2. Like between 5 and 199. Anyway, let's open up this pilot pack for Startail, the uh, rarest of the pilots, I believe, because it was only available as a European pre-order exclusive. All right, let's open that up. I'm making a meal of this. There we go. All right, have a look at this. What did I just drop? More paper. Never mind. All right, take this guy out. Ah. Okay. Oh, they've got like a, a long pink tail. I didn't even see that. Okay. There they are. If it wants to focus on them. There we go. Okay, we'll focus on this guy. This guy's so cute. Look at that tail. I think they're on a bit of ship. Weird looking tail. The tail doesn't look that weird when you actually look at it. Tail kind of looks a bit more normal. But it's like, it's, it's a long tail. It didn't have much space for it, I think. But anyway. There's the tail of the tape on that one. The star tail, one of the rarest ones. One of the rarest ones, but this is a complete set. Now, like I said, guys, there's, there's two extra pilot packs, but they're both pilots I already have. So that would have been uh, Razor and Levy. So I don't have those because I don't need them because they will be doubles because they come in those ex those uh, those store exclusive ones for uh, Target and, uh, and GameStop. So you don't need them if you get those ships. The next pilot pack is Eli. Eli Arborwood. Looks like a bit of a bounty hunter. Got two weapons there. And then there's lots of stickers on the back of this one, but there's the back of it. Also tells you their abilities as well. Blasts everything with its marksman and super fast reflexes. So yeah, that's one of the reasons it would have been nice to keep the boxes. That would tell you the information, like what, what these characters can do. Uh, but other than that, let's just open it up. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That came away fairly easily. There we go. Get rid of the card back, and we'll have a look at this guy. Drop some more paper on the floor. Standard. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Alright, man, I'm gonna have so much plastic to throw away. <laughs> okay, there's the Eli figure. I think I'm getting the hang of getting these guys in a place where it can zoom in on them now. So there you go. 
I like the uh, like the cape on this guy. There's Eli. Yeah, Space Cowboy, exactly. That kind of that kind of feel to it. The next one is Carl. I believe I remember seeing this alien from this the uh, small this green alien from the small amount of time I played it uh, previously on the Switch. So I believe we'll see this guy in the game if I've got that right. I was not aware at the time that they were also a pilot. That's cool. All right, let's open this up. Get rid of the card back. Take this guy out of the packaging. All right, let's have a look at this this thing. Come here, Carl. All right, there we go. Okay. There's Carl. Big, he's big, he's big, and he's bad. Yeah, I've got, the, I've got the positioning sorted out now. We're at the tail end of it <laughs> to get the focus in. There you go. There's Carl. All right, and there are four weapon packs. So uh, I just got all of these because they were super cheap. I don't know which weapons you need and which ones you don't. This has the Crusher and the Shredder Mark II. I think the Shredder Mark II is an upgrade to the regular one. So there you go. There's the. Front and back of that one. We'll open this up and get these weapons out. I'm not sure I'm even going to be using any of these weapons, but you know, if, if you're going to have a complete set, you might as well. I mean, I was so close. I wanted originally, I just wanted to get a couple of ships, but when I saw how cheap everything was that they were clearing it out, um, I thought, you know, I might, I might as well just grab everything. So I did. All right. So we've got the two weapons here. Have a look at those. Okay, more plastic on the ground. Uh, I've, I've forgotten which is which now. So there you go, there's the two weapons. Two extra weapons. I'm just going to drop those down and this is there. And then this one is the Hailstorm and the Meteor Mark II. I like the look of that uh, Meteor Mark II actually, the golden weapon. That's pretty cool. There's the back of that box. As you'll see it no longer because I'm opening it up. I actually really like the ship design on these as well. That's the only shame about opening these. Can't keep the car back that way. Alright, get these ones out. It's the second weapon pack. Okay. Alright, so there's the, uh, there's the ice weapon. And there's the uh, Meteor Mark II. I actually quite like the look of that one. Maybe I should just put them on ships so they're not falling about everywhere. Alright, well, we'll sort that out in a moment. Alright, the next one is the Iron Fist and the Freeze Ray Mark II. Maybe this is an upgrade to the Freeze Ray that comes in the, uh, comes in the set. You never know. There's the back of that one. I think the Freeze Ray looks like a golden middle finger. That's, that's just me saying that, but it kind of does. But hopefully it will be able to use it to give the enemies the middle finger, metaphorically speaking, or figuratively speaking, I should say. Alright, let's get these out of here. Put this garbage away. Alright, so there's the uh whatever whatever that one was. Looks pretty cool actually. And then the freeze ray. I guess the the golden middle finger. <laughs> Alright, there's that. Okay, and the last box to it. Man, we've opened a lot of boxes. This is the last box. We're gonna be getting to the gameplay in just a moment, guys. There's the last box. This is the Shockwave, which I think is a which I think is a double. Does this come with a starting set? I don't know. It seems like a double. And then the uh was this the Gorse Gun Mark II? And there's the back of that one. Also kind of looks like a golden middle finger, but less so. Looks like a golden something else. Alright. Open this up. Alright. So close. Just so close to having the unboxings. Alright, take these out of here. Huh. Huh. Come on. Alright, there you go. And lastly, we have uh, these weapons here, whatever they were. Alright, guys, so with that said, I am going to take a very quick break. Don't go anywhere, my friends. I'm going to be right back with some in-game action. Have no fear. Don't go anywhere. I will be right back.
welcome back my friends we're back into the action I actually know we spoke about Resident Evil earlier <laughs> but I forgot to change my be right back images to include my Star Fox image and different music so I hope you enjoy the very spooky um, be right back screen there unnecessarily so for <laughs> this type of game but I have I uh, put the game inside of the switch I was gonna clear up some of the trash around me as well but we're gonna get over to some gameplay but before we do let's take a quick uh, look back in anger at everything <laughs> everything we've uh, picked up I also probably should have plugged in the PlayStation 4 one but anyway we had the uh, we had the uh, switch version which we will be using uh, in just a moment actually I actually haven't used these joy cons in forever I'm gonna take the uh, I'm gonna take the um, the ship off here as well so I can show you everything being uh, put in in real time how do I uh, how do I get all of the joy cons and that working it's been so long since I've used them <laughs> okay they're both they're both active cool 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 all right so yeah there we go there's there's that and there was there was this thing which I forgot to plug in but yeah, so I guess we'll be doing that in a moment. It's going to be so smooth. But man, I can't believe this is how they did that. That's so crazy. Could they not have found some way to get it in the USB here? Whatever, man. <laughs> the toys, they're alive. It's alive. <laughs> yeah, I'll blame them for messing up my Be Right Back screen. And then we've got all of the, all of the figures. So I guess we'll have the uh, weapons, which I will grab. It's just a pile, a pile of things. I don't remember what any of these are. So there you go. There's, uh, this seems like the right amount. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> One, two, three. That's not the right amount. I mean, some of them have fallen over or I've just lost them. But, you know, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to use them anyway. But there you go. There's the, oh, there's the rest of them. There's the rest. There's the rest of them. Okay, there's all of these weapons. I don't remember what any of them are, but there's this thing. There's this thing. There's this thing. I don't remember what they are. This thing. I like the look of this one. And then the the golden middle finger. And you know these whatever whatever they are. Some of them have these symbols on, so I'm pretty sure they're important. But you know we'll figure it out. There's there's all of the weapons. Yeah, we got we got so so many of them. I'll try and put them on some of the ships as I show you the ships. And we also have the extra extra pilots here. There's uh, the three extra pilots. So there's um, Startail. And there's Carl and Eli. Impressed I remember those. There's those guys. Um, I guess I'm going to put them back on. <laughs> back where I found them. Back where I put them I should say. So I have room to put everything else up. And uh, we had uh, Razor's ship. There's Razor's ship. And we had Levy ship. There you go. I'll put one of the other weapons on this then. I guess I'll put the uh, the ice weapon on it. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> All right, put those aside. I'll try and make it so I can get to them if I want to switch them later on, which I may well do. And then we had uh, more ships. <laughs> there was uh, this one. Which already has one weapon on it, I guess. If I'll put the, yeah. See, see, seeing as I really like the ship, I'll put the weapon I like the best on it as well. And it's got red trim to it, so it kind of fits. There you go. There's that. Uh, Pulse's ship, if I remember correctly. And there was uh, Lancer's ship here. There you are. Put something on that as well. I guess this thing. I think this is Shockwave. This weapon. And then there was Neptune's ship. Which I actually really like this as well. I'll put uh, put the uh, put the golden middle finger on that one. <laughs> there you go. And then finally there was a uh, Jade's ship, which is kind of kind of a bit uh, ramshackle, bit put together out of all, all kinds of different bits. We'll put we'll put a weapon on that. And I actually really like how this weapon is has like one weapon on the side, one weapon on the front. And I I I didn't want to put the pilot in this one because I felt a little too tight. Okay, there's that. All right. Guess I'll put the pilot to the side. And that's uh, that's about it. I still ended up with still ended up with extra weapons. There you go. We'll put those somewhere. All right. And as long as my controllers are still attached, yeah, good, good, good. Okay. We will get started. We will get this started. I'll get my headphones on. Make sure everything's working. 
Nice, can I hear stuff? <laughs> yes, I can. Okay, cool. All right, and we will switch over to some gameplay footage when we get this. <laughs> I haven't used these things for ages, so there you go. I haven't memorized anything. Scandalous, I know, right? Not a real Starlink collector. I'm a sham. I'm a sham. All right, so let's uh, go with this then. All right, here we go. So we will be, uh, oh, press L and R on the controller. Yeah? <laughs> okay. I'm not used to using these controllers. Press A when you're ready. I've pressed A like a thousand times. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I, can I start the game? Press A when you're ready. Do they want me to also do it on the other controller? That's weird. Alright, so press L and R on the controller, <laughs> and then back. Just, just play the game. <laughs> press A when you're ready. I'm gonna, I'm gonna press all the buttons. That's so weird. Yeah, I haven't switched screens yet. I'm trying to get it to like, it won't let me start the game. <laughs> With the uh, with the switch controllers, is the controller paired to the console? Um, pass. It says they're there. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I can't go past the weird. Okay. And B. It says B. Go back, but it's just not doing it. <laughs> weird. All right. So. Yeah, okay. I had a feeling this might be a problem. They're definitely fully charged. I'll show you this. I'll show you what I'm looking at. This is what I'm looking at. And it's saying press L and R on the controller. Which I'm doing. I'm very confused. And then A? I'm very confused. <laughs> I'm not used to the switch. Like, what does it want me to do? <laughs> Does it want me to do it on this one? It wanted me to do it on that one. There you go. Okay. It wanted me to do it on the Pro Controller for some reason. I was like, what on earth is going on? <laughs> Alright. Alright, start the game then. <laughs> yeah, because I wanted I wanted to switch to this controller. I don't why didn't it why, why didn't it make me do that? Why didn't it just start the game? <laughs> That's so weird. My Joy-Cons are too. Okay, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna just using the Joy-Cons to register the ships. That's so weird. That's a really weird way of doing it. Nintendo, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. <laughs> that was weird. This game uses an auto save. Okay, whatever. Start, start the game. Start the game. <laughs> All right, we're, we're there. We're finally there. Darling, battle for Atlas. Let's start. That was the weirdest thing. I, I don't use the Switch that often, and when I do, I I, may, I mostly only use the Pro Controller. So I'm not really familiar with all of the, like, switching controller nonsense. In other consoles, it's much easier than that. Anyway, I actually already have a game on this, um, but we won't, we'll won't. we be starting a new game, um, because I want to show you everything. Alright. So do I have to delete my save slot to actually do it? Okay, I guess we do. I guess we do. So, okay, yeah, I can do a new game. Okay, that's that's cool. That's how I do it. Anyway, before we start a new game, it'll give you a random ship every time here. So, before we do the random ship thing, um, it should actually. Well, does it do that when I start the game? I forget. But I'll do it now anyway. It should when I put the when I put the things on this actually come up with. I might do it when we start the game. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Alright. Well, actually, you know what? Maybe I should do the how to use Starlink. <laughs> Welcome to the Starlink Initiative. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I am Sage, and I am here to explain how to use Starlink to build your starship. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. To begin, slide your Joy-Con controllers into the Starlink mount. Press until they click and lock in. Okay. Next. Make sure your Joy-Con controllers are paired. Mm-hmm. 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 
Next, link a pilot. Slide your pilot into the front of the mount and press firmly to connect it. I see. You can swap your pilot at any time without losing progress. All Each right. Each pilot has a unique and powerful ability. Really? Next, link a starship for your pilot to fly. Lower the starship down over the mount and pilot so the pilot enters the cockpit. Once your starship is linked, press down firmly to secure it. Okay. You can mix and match wings to change the attributes of your starship. Press firmly to link them securely. Okay. I think we're pretty good. Link weapons to prepare for the possibility of battle. Press ZL to fire your left weapon and ZR to fire your right weapon. Switch weapons to adapt to any situation. You can fire hyperlasers from the wings of the R wing if no weapons are linked to them. Interesting. When you want to remove your starship, twist it and pull it up. Twist it. All right. Remember, you can change your starship, weapons, and pilot at any time. Use Starlink to adapt to and overcome any challenge. Now you're ready to begin. Good luck. All right. I guess. Okay, so it does have the R wing there, which is good. Okay. So let's do a new game. I had to, I, I had to do that to check. So if I take this off, if I take the weapon off, will the weapon disappear? Yeah, it will. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. So there you go. That's the R wing. Oh, look at that. Look at that. The the back of the ship is lit up as well. I didn't know it did that. That's cool. But yeah, so you can, uh, if I take the ship off, it might go to a generic ship. Yeah. So you got Fox on there. I had to check because, you know, I'm sorry about watching through the tutorial there, but, you know, I'm, I'm fairly, fairly noob when it comes to this game. And they can take the wings off. The wings come off. Put them on as well. All right. So that should, this should mean we start with Star Fox. That's what I wanted to make sure we were doing. So let's select a save slot and start a new game. Uh, on easy, thank you. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, it's super confusing. I remember the registering Star Fox was a bit confusing as well. So I wanted to make sure we had that registered before we started the game. Alright. Our wing wings have built in laser that can shoot so long as no other weapons are equipped. Okay. In making contact with an alien that crashed on the Earth, astrophysicist Victor St. Grand secretly recruited a team of pilots to explore the stars. He named the alien Judge, ooh, that's one of the pilots, and called the team the Starlink Initiative. Okay. Fair enough. Aboard their Nova-powered mothership, the team arrives in the Atlas star system, seeking answers about Judge's origins. Right, here we go. We're here. Atlas. Jewel of the Pleiades. <gasps> Look! <laughs> Welcome to Atlas. Oh, man, I'm gonna get so many hits back on Earth. No, you're not. Levi? No one's supposed to know about this. I'm looking to change that. Chase, Levi, one of you will need to be outside to help Hunter with the escort. Okay. Wait! He said one of us. <laughs> <laughs> Scans off, St. Grand. It's incredible. I can't believe you've been doing this for a whole year. Our third trip. Hasn't gotten old yet. It was Alkiani last, now Atlas. The artifact we're collecting here might just be the breakthrough we need. We're closer than ever now. I know it. Proximity warning. Seen a lot of characters from the figures here. Well, there's Shade. Looks like our delivery is coming in hot. Right. Let's go. 
Let's get our ears on. Can you hear me? What happened? Do you have it? Yeah, but these guys don't like it when you steal from them. Sensitive types. Could use a little help here. She's not gonna make it. Get to the Equinox. We're coming. I'll man the bridge. Judge, take Mason with you to the hangar. We need to buy time for me to jumpstart the engine. Are you sure? Maybe I should help you in the reactor. They've never used Starlink before. Go show them what it can do. Take my ship. You're ready. No, not playing that character. <laughs> you can be as ready as you want. Use a fox. The game is actually pretty fun. I hope I've done it right so we see Fox. It did mention the R-Wing previously. I remember this was super confusing when I did the unboxing of the Star Fox version previously. I had to record the footage several times so I just didn't get it. That's why I watched the tutorial a minute ago. Warning. Cooling cycle terminated. You think that's bad? The different ships are the same as the figures. Dude, I love the build up. I'm guessing this is where the cutscene was cut off if you're playing the PS4 version. Because as that happens, someone else arrives. Yeah! That's right. You boys seeing this? Yeah, but it's not Wolf, so who cares? It looks like they're outnumbered. You know what I'm thinking. Absolutely, <sighs> positively not. We came here for one reason and one reason only, and that is to take down. Yeah, <laughs> that makes me so happy. Ugh. I knew I should have retired back on Corn Area. All right, here we go. Why would you play another version other than the Switch version if you couldn't play Star Fox? I'm just wondering. <laughs> All right, light stick to steer. Hey, Runny Egg, welcome, my friend. Oh boy. Which is a fly button? Oh, there it is. Also looks like we're all headed to the same How place. you doing? We may not have much of a choice. Uh -oh. Okay, looks like we've got a few more wingmates. Hang on, Shade. We're on our way. roll. <laughs> Can I speed myself up? Alright, left weapon, right weapon. Whoa, there's so many enemies. Alright, let's get them. How you doing, Bunny Egg? Yeah. Alright, this ice weapon sucks, but it does home in. Oh, take that. Oh boy, this is so fun. <laughs> Man, can you imagine? I'm using the Pro Controller, by the way, not the crazy controller. I might switch out the fire weapon, it's kind of rubbish. Actually, I'm just going to take it off. I can just do that, I can take off the fire Yeah, I took it off. <laughs> so here's the main menu system. You're good to see my friend. I guess I can just take off this weapon. Actually, this is really cool, I want to show this, actually. So as you sort of put them on, you build up the ship, so there's Star Fox. You put him on there. And then you can like take off the wings. And then build them up. Like that as well. Also the figure as well. You can put these up like this. I normally you play like this, but I'm definitely not doing that. I'm just gonna take off actually I've got this weapon backwards anyway. <laughs> I'm just gonna take that off and use the regular weapon. I like the ice weapon. There you go, I'll play it like that. Alright, let's resume. I'm also trying to remember the buttons as well as we go. Oh, that's much better. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Where are the enemies? All right, the indicators are telling me. Oop. Take that! Do a barrel roll! <laughs> Take that, you jerk! You Legion Drake! Can you imagine if the Wii U game had... 
He told me to do a barrel roll. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> we got XP for that. Nice. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I know it's like it is like quality movie footage to begin with as well. Sorry. Ain't gonna happen. Nice. Oh boy. Nice. Yeah, great, thanks for asking. I knew this would be fun when we got in Star Fox. When we started playing Star Fox. The fun would come in. Of course if it was like they had to, right? <laughs> hey, nice work, new kid. Thanks. It is a cool opening, right? There. Tell them to hang on a few minutes longer. Breach in reactor hull. Everyone back to the ship. The reactor's been breached. On our way. Just one more left. Whoa. Oh, he changed his weapon. Oh, they're showing you. You can put the weapons on backwards and shoot backwards. Interesting. They took Judge. But how could they? I have him right here. <laughs> In this ship. He's not going anywhere. I can't even get him out of it. What? No, 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 no! Oh, run, Levy! Wait, that's Razor. I'll get it. I like how they uh, add on the Star Fox crew. Oh. Oh. Equinox pilots, come in. The Equinox has crashed. Huh? All units, report in. What the heck? Boys, the I'm details here. on my ship haven't loaded Do you up. Read me? <laughs> I repeat, the Equinox has crashed. All pilots. Come Nothing's again. Getting through. All this interference. All right, I'm going to put a different weapon on my ship, actually. Let's go with this thing. This kind of looks kind of cool. I'll put that on. Ooh, that looks cool. It draws it up as we go. Okay, let's recover. Oh, flight engines are down. Guess I'm on reserve power. Gotta find the boys. All right, here we go. Predator Mark Two. That's pretty cool. All right, have at it. I like how you see Star Fox in the corner as well. The graphics will be better on the PS4 version, but you won't have Star Fox, so... But we'll see, I'll show both of them. Oh, oh boy. You want to dance. Enemy analysis complete. Recommend short range weaponry. Telling me what weapons to use. It wants me to use a flamethrower, but I didn't like that weapon. Uh Oh, but I can see the appeal when we're so close to them using that weapon. I see. I see. Interesting. Ooh. A way out. All right, let's move. Looks like that ship, the Equinox. Oh, what now? Enemy analysis complete. Recommend volcano combination. Hey, Simper, how you doing, my friend? Thank you for that donation. Much appreciated, buddy. Helps keep the channel going. How are you doing, buddy? Good to see you, my friend. Always a pleasure. Oh, this weapon's doing so little damage to them. Yeah, I should switch. I should switch. <laughs> Aid a dodge. Okay. Whee. I'll do what it tells me to. Use a different weapon. Is that all of them? Oh, I'm still getting shot. 
How you doing, Simper, my friend? Simper X, good to have you here, buddy. All right, let's switch to the. For it. <laughs> Hawks, you made it. You're the last one to report in, but I never doubted you for a second. Peppy, everyone okay? Oh, we're all good, Fox. These folks were just filling me in. Sounds like those robot fellas took their captain. Well, they're not gonna get away with that. Come on, let's go get them. Let's go get them. Those freaks who took Saint Grant. Change my weapon as well. How are you doing, Simper? Much appreciated, my friend. Awesome. Thank you so much for that donation, my friend. And for being a member of the channel. You're awesome, my friend. Appreciate it. I'm doing well. Hope you're doing good. There's a backup, but until we get more fuel, we're not going anywhere. Oh, more fuel. Gotta be something we can do here. Maybe there is. Check your map. Check my map, it says. Star map. There's your ship. You should be able to see everything within the scan radius. Hmm. The rest of the planet's uncharted territory, for now. Razor, I am picking up an alien signal nearby. You think someone's out there? Worth checking out. Feel free to give the map a spin. Not much to it now, but once we explore more of this place, it'll definitely come in handy. Okay. okay. I'll go see what's up. Be careful. Guess I'm going there. What's out there. Uh, I'll tell you one thing that's out there. A bunch of killer robots. Old A to boost. Robots. Whee! We've seen what? Drakes and a couple of cyclopses? Now hold on. Uh -huh. You're telling me this is normal to you people. And I thought Carnaria had problems. A bunch of pests, if you ask me. Well, we've taken out a lot of them in the last week. I think we can handle a few more. I love the banter. Hey, appreciate it, Simper. I see you enjoying using my face. <laughs> Phrasing. Wee, do a barrel roll. Oh boy. The signal's <laughs> coming from some kind of building. Think they're friendly? Let's hope so. Hey, fear the Go pack. Hi. We'll be here if you need it. How you doing, buddy? Welcome to the stream. How do I say hi? Hey, knock it off. Oh boy, shake it off. Okay, there's enemies here. That's what's going on. That's what's going on. Where are they? Enemies. Mayday. Mayday. Oh, there they are. Ship's non -responsive. Who the Please heck is that? Oh, that's a researcher. <laughs> My bad. How do I repair them? There we go. I feel so bad. I didn't mean to. Thank you so much. <laughs> now I can return to my studies. Oh boy. Hey, Shawnee, how you doing, buddy? Welcome. I just uh, shot a friendly. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> All wide to talk. There we go. Oh, good. You're back. Wait, you're not thicket. Now, oh, where's my assistant when you need him? The name's Fox. I'm looking for some fuel and figured you might be able to help. Hmm? Oh, sorry. Uh, my missing assistant has me all flustered. Uh, you haven't seen a squat, leafy fellow wandering around, have you? No, but maybe we can help each other out. Hmm. You're doing good? Fear the pack, good to hear, my friend. I guess we offer help. I sent Thicket to put down a Ooh. beacon, and he set it right next to an imp hive. Stars knows where he is, but I need that hive removed. Hmm. Then I can help you with uh, fuel, was it? Yeah, it's good to me. He's going after my collectibles. <laughs> what a nice guy. What a nice guy. This might be kind of dangerous, Ooh. but there's some good eggs here. Yeah. Hey, Whee. so what oh, brings boy. you guys to Atlas anyway? Let's stop barrel rolling. We're looking for someone named when I'm on the ground. Ooh. He's caused a lot of trouble back on Corneria. And now the bills do. Don't worry, boys. Once we get oh, off wait, this what? planet, we're going to smoke Pick him up out something. And make him pay. Collectibles? Well, after we get oh, never mind. Fix, find our <laughs> oh, wait, there it is. Maybe we can help each other somehow. No, never mind. <laughs> hey, you said it was an imp hive, right? <laughs> Imps, Move such it. nasty little machines. Of all the Legion, they irk me the most. Mm. I find the best way to handle them is, well, not to handle them at all. But I uh. hear combustion works. Fire, huh? I like how you think. Now that we're equipped with you would, Starlink, Falco. we've got lots of options. Try the flamethrower. Flamethrower, huh? Whoa, that's a lot of bad guys. Enemy analysis complete. Zero HP. Uh, once we'd use the flamethrower. Pretty sure I'm coming up on the high. But I'm gonna use whatever I want. I use what I want. Now it's a party. 
Take that. Got a barrel roll in that time. Oh boy, the imps. Oh boy. Get away from me, imps. Alright, back to the hive. The hive of activity. And I shall destroy it. Wonderful. No hive, no imps. Just hey. the way I like it. I have some Electrum waiting here for you, as promised. Ooh, uh, Electrum hype. actually takes Nova. Nova? Where did you say you were from? Well, most of us are from a planet called Earth. My home planet is Papatoon. Hmm. Well, the only way to get Nova here is to Whoa. salvage the core from an extractor. But, uh, well, it should appear on your map. Uh-oh. Yeah, this, uh, the Switch version does have... Star Fox characters in, which is pretty badass. I've gone into a hive of enemy activity right now. <laughs> Silly me. All right, star map. Interesting. Now that we have helped this observatory, hmm. our visibility on the planet has increased. There's the Legion extractor. Looks like that's our target. All right, let's set that as our destination then. Yeah, I think I've done it. <laughs> Word of warning. Extractors are legion machines. Before Oop. my time, they were easy to salvage. Take Since that. the reawakening, they defend themselves most efficiently. But you all seem desperate. They're competent enough. Just bring the core to me and we'll be done. Hey, no worries, Jonah. Good night, my friend. I will catch you later and do a barrel roll. Whoop. <laughs> I'll recover. I can't do that barrel roll on the ground. But easier to control than Star Fox Zero, which myself and Jonin enjoyed one time on the Danger Zone. Ooh boy. Nice. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, the Nintendo characters aren't on the PS4 game. We'll be checking Big that out. Up ahead. Oh, yes. The extractor should be just As well. Inside. To see how it uh, compares. I know the graphics are better, but it doesn't have Star Fox in it. Uh oh, that looks scary. Hold me. Enemy analysis complete. What's me the flamethrower? Float and levitator. All right, here we go. Whose idea was this anyway? Have out. Um... It's the only idea we got. Ooh. First, you'll need to target the nodes along the perimeter. I think you can do like a combo by freezing them and then eating down, them up. The extractor's core will be exposed. Nice. Okay, we've got to take out the little things. Whoa. The nodes doesn't do well for them. That's it. The nodes are disabled. Whoa! Now's your chance to hit the extractor and dodge those lasers. Uh, do a barrel roll. <laughs> oh, I did it again. Recover. Ooh, lasers. We got them. Extractor destroyed. <laughs> Yoshi and Metal Gear Solid. That'd be awesome. It's down. Sweet. Now grab that core and get out of there. Oop. The core is in the center of the extractor. Get a good hold on it and pull back. Just uh. not too hard. Got it. Interstellar. Nova is such a rarity. Wait. You could make quite a fortune with your skills. I don't get it. Mm. Can't you just make more Nova? If only we could. Sadly, while there is plenty of Electrum to be found, Ooh. no one knows how to refine it. So the only Nova left is inside those machines. Interesting. Well, we're not all as brave as you are. Wow. I wonder if St. Grant knows about this. What was that? Our captain, St. Grant. He learned how to create Nova. That's how we got here. Your captain can make Nova? My <gasps> stars, why didn't you say so? Knowledge of that kind could upset the entire system. And you say he's missing? That's why we're here. I see. Fascinating. Oh, you can get a GameCube. In, sorry, in the GameCube version of Metal Gear Solid, you can get the figure. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, they've got to always put that little Nintendo touch in. Like, in the GameCube versions of Resident Evil, where the MO discs go in, like, I'm certain the machines look like GameCubes. That would be the remaster of uh, Resident Evil. Whoa. Oh, the imps. Maybe I should hit the imps, and not the researchers this time. <laughs> there we go. Prepare this guy if I can. Try it. Try it. Try and be do a good from all of the nasty I've been doing. 
<laughs> Is that everything? Okay, speak to the person. All right. Oh, you're back. Okay. Deliver the item. Yep. Okay. Here's that core. Outstanding. Extracting the Nova should take just a moment. Hmm. I'll need to arrange for a replacement. Huh? Well, you have a captain to find, don't you? A captain that can make Nova, no less. Your crew could use a local expert, and I'm not too shabby in a fight either. Not this too shabby. Is my crew, so you gotta ask them. Maybe they'd be open to it. There he is. I don't know. Then it sounds like a sabbatical is in order. I will meet you there. Just have to find that darn assistant. Looking for his assistant. And maybe I can help. Oh, I guess that's everything. All right, so we're going okay. back. I got the Nova, and the I think I got us a new friend too. Snake versus oh, Mario. That's all right. <laughs> really? Guess it doesn't hurt. Well, nice work. See you soon. I think we're headed oh, this man. way. You guys have a best match. Hey, stop stuffing your face with that junk, or you'll get all sleepy. We gotta be wide awake if we're gonna catch Wolf. Whee. Almost there. Environments look great though. Once we get the Nova loaded, we should be good to go. They and just researchers. Right. <laughs> yeah, unless he's, you know, Levi. Mm. What the heck? What, what the heck, Levi? I hope he isn't. I'm Ow. Just saying. Ow. Don't worry, he's our captain. We won't let him down. We won't let him down. All right, let's get back to the ship. I'm here. How do I transfer your fuel? Open your ship's computer. You should be able to launch the repair sequence from the Equinox screen. Uh, that sounds complicated. <laughs> okay, plus button, I guess. Yeah, sure. Okay, we did it. All right. Nice. If we find any more goodies around here, maybe we can upgrade the Equinox even more. Until hmm. then, let's see if this works. All right, let's blast off. It's party time. This was a precision strike. They must have tracked our core through the hall. Well, this isn't enough Nova to draw anyone's attention, that's for sure. But if Mason's calculations are right, it should be just enough to get us airborne again. Yeah, or just enough to be blown to pieces. Hit it, Chase. I'm disliking that levy guy. <laughs> I'm glad it didn't focus on his miniature earlier. Blown to pieces. Hey, we're blasted off to the stars. How about that? Flight capabilities restored. Ooh. Nice. All right, your flight engines are restored. Oh boy. Good luck in your search, Fox. Not so fast. I've been thinking about what Mason said back there. We should work together. Something tells me we're going to need more manpower, and same goes for you guys. So what do you say? Uh, yeah. I think it's a great idea. Let's talk it over at the Equinox. Actually, once you're here, I'd like to get a closer look at your ship myself. Okay, let's do it. How do we do that? Hold R to fry. Okay. To space! To infinity! And beyond! Oh, cool title screen as we head on into space. That was pretty cool. Oh, that was seamless as well. All right, let's go to the ship. Wait, can I boost? I can boost. Okay, now I know how to go faster. <laughs> faster! Yeah, Fox would take out the bad guys by himself. Doesn't need any help from these guys. Starlink database updated. All right, how do I get inside? Oh. Just a, just a cutscene. Okay, cool. That's easier. Smexy, I know, right? I have waited so long for this. I foresaw this moment many years ago. The Wardens showed me, and now the gift appears. 
The time has come to harvest Nova. Nova? When the Warden Gods departed so long ago, they took with them the secrets to Nova. You must feed my legion. Look, if you want Nova, it's no trouble. But first, I'm gonna need to get back to my crew. Your crew is lost. You will show me how to make Nova. And you will kneel before your warden. A little bit of a rip-off of uh, Wrath of Khan there. <laughs> Thanks, Judge. Judge and Razor there. See, I'm learning. What the... Huh? And the legends. All right, everything looks good. Wow, this Starlink tech is amazing. This will give us the edge we need to take down Wolf. At least we could do. Good luck. Let's rock and roll, boys. Wolf is also in this game, <laughs> which is cool. Can't this version. Later. I got contacts. They might know who took St. Grant. Let's talk to them first. This is the only intel I trust. The Legion's got a hierarchy, and orders gotta come from somewhere. Let's crack a few more open and see where that gets us. That's not very diplomatic, but it could work. What are we waiting for? Let's get out there. Oh. Idea. Interesting. Come on. Oh. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Right, where's our objective then? I need to show you something. Ooh. Open your ship's computer. I, I forget how to do that. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Each what time you master a weapon or ship, you can come here to gain new abilities and advantages in combat. Interesting. Different pilots have different abilities. There's six or more skill points to unlock any skill. Okay, never give up. Um, okay, so. What does this do? Plus damage? Okay. And then. Energy. Ability charge, sure. Oh, one more skill point? Oh, never mind. We'll get that later. <laughs> Thanks. That's good to know. So, like I was saying, the imps on Karee and the drakes that attack Shade are all Legion. So the Legion have to be connected to St. Grant's capture. An interesting theory. But our research points to the fact that the Legion are not intelligent. Which means someone's controlling them. We just need to find out who. Wow. You guys sound just like a prospector I know. That Haven old-timer was always on about the Legion hierarchy. Great. Let's go talk to him. The environment looks great. Wait, 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 wait. I meant you guys are nuts. Ah. Are all humans this dense? Look, I saw the ones who took St. Grant. Whee. They weren't robots. I'm with Razor. If this guy's got a theory, we should hear him out. Fine. If you guys want to talk to Eli, go ahead. But I'm warning you, Eli. he's a little on the cranky side. I will sure got Eli. Not just when he's talking to you. <laughs> oh, so you do have a sense of humor. Good to know. All right. I want to show you something. Oh, one last thing. <laughs> Your hyperdrive is back up. Just don't run into any asteroids. We only got so many spare parts around here. Hyperdrive, how do nice. I do that? Thanks, Razor. Oh, I just go super fast. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, it's the Doctor Who entrance. I guess it's there faster. Alright. Warning. Incoming outlaw hyperspace trap. Uh oh. It's a trap! Is it in the, uh, in. In the field? What is? Uh oh. I'm picking up some wreckage near your position. Might be worth checking out. Alright, let's check out. Detected. 
Oh boy! Dude, the music here is so good. Uh oh. Who's this? They're on someone's tail. Oops. Sage, let's talk to that pilot. Channel open. What's up? Who's like you're in trouble? Before I beat you. You got a funny way of saying thanks, pal. Oop. Nice. Legion into my trap. But so long as you're here, I'll let you take oh, a few hot shots at him. Yeah, you will. Yikes. It's funny you should mention uh, that music was very nice, yeah. Ooh. About passing the time of space travel. I believe that's heavily referred to in uh, in like Prometheus. <laughs> Nothing like a good battle to get the blood pumping. You're oh, alright, pal. Even though you got a puny ship. Our ships are the same size. Math isn't your thing, is it? Ha! Feisty too! I like it. Maybe we'll meet again. All right. That guy's nothing but trouble. You're lucky. Most outlaws only got one code. Shoot first, talk never. Man, this place is a freaking danger zone. It's a danger Atlas, zone. Kid. Our space has all kinds of loot caches and shipwrecks. And if it's worth picking over, it's worth fighting over. Why else do you think those drakes were after me? Indeed. We expeditions stay within our planetary gravity wells for a reason. Even the prospectors rarely see space these days. See? Even the eggheads got street smarts. It's the way we live. Or else we don't. Alright, let me try plugging in the PlayStation 1 and we'll compare these together, see what they look like. There's a, a lot of crap next to me because I've put all the packaging on the floor. <laughs> but I'll be right back and we'll try that one out as well. Alright. Fear not my friends, I haven't left you. Just plugging in the USB. I'll be right back in action for the PlayStation. We'll have to plug into the capture card as well. Alright, so yeah, I'm going to go over to full screen webcam. Full screen webcam, real quick, as we switch over what I'm capturing. <laughs> They're not my friends. I will just be a moment as I plug in the uh, plug in the PS4 to that, and we will get that going. Hopefully, shouldn't be any issues with that. All right, I'm back. Final boss is uh, Fox versus the guy in Super Smash Bros. <laughs> All right, so this should have loaded up. I've got a. I've I've plugged this in. I imagine that's how it works. Having to use the USB here is really awkward. They don't. There's no USB needed on the Switch one, but there is on this one. And I don't have another way to play without using the actual controller. So this is going to be. Well, there's there's no two ways about it. This is going to be awkward. <laughs> but I guess this is how we're playing the game. All right. Let's let's start it up. Oh no, what? Now it's downloading an update file? <laughs> oh boy. Well, it's downloading an update uh, an update file. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to take a quick break then, guys. I will be right back. Collection is even more impressive in full screen, I know, right? I'm still trying to find a place for everything, but uh, when I have a bit more space, we'll be able to uh, sort it out a little bit better. I'm going to take a quick break, guys. Don't go anywhere. I will be right back. Hopefully the update. Man, I had the disc going whilst we were doing everything else, and evidently it turned itself off and decided not to do it. Anyway, guys, I will be right back. Don't go anywhere. I will be right back.
Welcome back my friends, thanks for sticking with me during that break. Game still has a little way to go so we might go back to it on the Switch. Hopefully that it'll still keep doing whatever it's doing and it won't stop doing it because it's got it's got like a 4.766 gigabyte update which is going to take, take a hot minute but I do want to show the PS4 version uh, while we get to this. There you go, I got stuff all over the place. And there was a massive, massive spider made its way into uh made its way into my home. So that gave me a little bit of a fright earlier. Like massive. I thought it was something out of Resident Evil for a moment. That was absolutely crazy. So that uh, occupied me. Then when I came back here I something was vibrating and I was like, what is that? I think it's my controller. Uh yeah, it's my it's my switch controller because I've left that on. Thankfully that hasn't stopped, so we can we can go back to that. Hopefully we can go back to that. I'll go plug that back in. I guess, yep, yeah, let's do that. And we'll, otherwise we're sat looking at the, uh, at the amazing blue screen of downloading the update file for the, uh, for the Starlink. All right, yeah, let's do that. Okay, gonna be, uh, gonna, gonna have my head away from screen for just a moment as we, uh, as we put that in. All right, so hopefully this works and we don't mess anything up too badly. Let's see what we're doing here. Okay, so, which, we're gonna put that in. Now hopefully the PlayStation doesn't turn itself off while it's doing that. That would be most inconvenient. Alright, are we in battle? Have we been in battle this whole time? Okay, <laughs> we're in battle. Alright, go back to widescreen. Oh boy, the bad guy was like, that looked like it hurt. I was like, okay, I guess, we're, that's, guess that's why the controller was vibrating. Oop. <laughs> the bad guy was like, that looked like it's hurt, let's do this. They did not notice I was completely immobile. I guess I should have paused it. Take that, he says. Outlaw. Man, how did I not get a game over? Oh. When I was doing absolutely nothing at that time. Okay. Database updated. Take that. Outlaw. This one ain't worth the trouble. Yeah. Scram. Scram, okay. I'm just gonna keep looking over to PlayStation 4, make sure it's still on. Oh my goodness. Alright, so what what is my objective then? Where did it want me to go this way? Through the minefield. Alright. Dash. There we go. Whoa! Be fast for my own good. When we're in the middle of a minefield. There's something mysterious over here. Warning. Incoming outlaw hyperspace traffic. No! Get out of it! Oh boy. The they got me again. <laughs> These guys. I guess that's what the mystery is. Oh, there's a thing over there. Okay, we'll check that out in a moment. I guess they're getting continuously attacked by space pirates whilst doing stuff. That looks like it hurt. Let's do this, they say. Oh boy. Do a barrel roll. There's something interesting over there as well. I like the environments here a lot. That must have hurt. That must have hurt indeed. Looks like they've got it out for you. Indeed. Anyway, I want to check out whatever this is. Unknown. Alright, into the unknown we go, my friends. Whilst the PlayStation 4 still does its thing. There's two unknown things over here. This is the sort of thing I like doing in these kind of games anyway, exploring. So we can do a little bit of exploring. I mean, yeah, the... Oh, new discovery. Oh, was this their trap? Interesting. The stream has been a bit... Oh boy! Can I destroy this then and it will stop the... The... Oh boy, well we didn't... I was wondering why we didn't have much health. Attach a new ship. Alright. Let's try that then. Keep fighting. That's okay, because we got a game over. Because we were getting, we were getting our butt kicked whilst we were, um, whilst we were doing that. Let's attach a different ship then. Let's go for uh, this one, the uh, shade ship. That's the one I didn't put inside of the ship. So hopefully we can still use the pilot of Star Fox who's on there. Hey, Raccoon Evil, how you doing, my friend? Welcome to the stream. I guess we can keep fighting then if we uh, change ship. There we go. Try that then. Warning. Oh. Mine in proximity. Yeah, because this is one of the benefits of having more ships. It gives you essentially more continues. 
Uh oh. I get my butt kicked here. How you doing, Raccoon, my friend? Oh wow, that ship was that ship was not good. Oh, that's what you get. <laughs> okay, well at least we're getting to see this then. I will switch over actually to uh, the what is probably going to be a better ship. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll go with the one that comes with the uh, comes with the game. This one then. Let's try that. Let's try that. All right, maybe that one will be a bit better. Okay, shred and flamethrower. Oh boy, how are you doing, raccoon? Good to see you, my friend. You like that? Actually, I prefer the ice weapon because it homes in on them. There we go. Whoa. Yeah, let's uh have a nice weapon. You doing good? That's good to hear, my friend. We'll do a barrel roll. It's less satisfying. We're not in the R ring. Oh, this does have an ice weapon, right? Somewhere. I put it on another ship, didn't I? Wait, did I just blow up? Ouch. That must have hurt. I need my, I need my ice weapon. I need my ice weapon. <laughs> no, I took my ship off. Okay, there we go. Look, look. Put the ice weapon on. It'll home for me. There we go. Okay. Put that on this thing. There we go. All right, we're back. We're back. Well, so I was wondering how that worked. My ship's health. The ships, other than the R rank, seem to have pretty weak health. As soon as we can take out some of these bad guys, we'll be doing good again. Do a barrel roll. There's so many enemies. Did I, get you? I think I, I think I've, I've gone over. <laughs> I've shot a bit too high. I like these weapons though. I might just keep with these weapons. Oops. Might have gone for a bit too more powerful area. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, you're going down. I may well go down, he could be right. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, well I need that ship anyway for the uh for the other one. Right, let me put the uh Yeah those weapons are fine on that one. Um Go with this one. You guys are seeing all of the game over hype right now. All of the game over hype. I'm gonna take that weapon though. Take the, oh my pilot's already on this one, okay. Take off Star Fox then. Sorry, Star Fox. Gonna have to be the other pilot's already on the ship. Which I can attach here somehow. I'm gonna have to take him out. There we go. Yeah, it's kinda like Star Fox. You know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna respawn. I'm gonna put the uh, I'm gonna put the armor back on because I, I can't I can't fiddle around with these things too much. I'll respawn to where we were. Actually, how long has it been? How's the um how's the PlayStation doing? Let me double check. Is the PlayStation Oh, there's the extra pilots there, though, actually. The three extra pilots. Um, which I think you can see one of them on the side there. The, the green the green alien that is not the one we've already had. That's one of the new pilots on the Wave 2 that you can't get physically. Let me have a look and see if the PlayStation's done its thing yet. Let me see. Oh, it's still not done it. That's crazy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> PlayStation's still updating. Space Magic. How are you doing, Maverick? Yeah, we're gonna stick with we're gonna stick with Star Fox. I'm gonna stick with Star Fox. I'll go back to the R wing and I'll just respawn. I'll just respawn. I'll stop being cheap. Oh, that's cool. Dude, that was badass. I'm glad we saw that. I'm glad we saw that. That was badass. All right, yeah, I'm gonna put the Star Fox ship back on and stop using all, all of the different ships. <laughs> I'll just respawn. Will it actually let me resume with this? Because this was the ship we used a minute ago. So we'll see if it actually lets me cheat the switch ships. Because that'll be cheating, right? Yeah, it needs to attack. Yeah, let's just respawn. Respawn. Because I got defeated on that ship earlier. I think we need like another 10 minutes. Or... All right. Go with the hyperspace. Insert Doctor Who theme. Yeah, I think we, we, we went into an area that was we need to power up a bit more to go there. We got our butts kicked. We got wrecked. Look at a seamless transition though. Going onto this planet. Alright. Alright guys, I made it to Haven. Where am I headed? 
Just keep your eye out for an old refinery. Should be near a river. Ooh. And indeed, we have Fox McCloud on this game. Copy that. All right. So Let's go. Have you known this guy long? No offense, but you don't seem like someone who makes friends with, well, anyone. Hey, I never said we were friends. Oh. We met back when he was still taking jobs. He used to be one of the baddest bounty hunters around. He used to be? Eli's like 300 years old. Saw too much of the world and stopped making sense of it, I guess. Always ranting about the world being secretly run by Krakna or whatever. One day he just packed it in and set up his own digs. Sounds like me. When I started developing Starlink, I tried to get funding. Everyone thought I was crazy. Well, jury's still out on that. All right, let's move. Okay, so we've still got about 10 minutes of PS4 updating. <laughs> so 10 minutes bonus of Star, Star Fox action. So there's that. Whoosh. Yeah, a little bit of whoosh action. I also want to see what it looks like. I know it looks better on the PlayStation 4. But it's definitely, you know, that USB cable is a bit annoying. I'm going to be tethered to that. That's weird. Link database updated. Whoop. There was a thing there, but never mind. What the heck? Pluck them. Uh, for pluck's sake. Oh, I need to get it on that. There we go. Alright, I guess we got the, the seed of life. That is a krill heart pellet. Seems a bit seedy they to me. They digest the bones of their prey, so they like puke them up. Ugh, ew. Oh, dude, this levy guy is very annoying. All right, we're close to our destination. So help me if the PlayStation turns off. <laughs> I better pass up in there. What? Oh boy. Throw or attack the prickle bird to dislodge it. Boom. Okay, that was interesting. Wee! <laughs> Did a backflip then. Backflip in my ship. All right, what's this then? Hit the can, and I can. I fly. Right, we're closer now. Okay. They've got to be just over the horizon. Interesting. I guess they're. Looks like here. a refinery to me. Over the water. To the refinery. All the talk. Hold it right there. You're on private property. Move along before you make another mistake. Easy now. There they are. I just want to talk. Shade sent me. Shade? That meter never listened to a word I said. Doesn't surprise me. Look, I just got a couple of questions and I'll be out of your hair. There's Shade. Uh -huh. Here's the deal. I ain't in the business of being made a fool. You want me to play along? You're gonna have to make it worth my while. Worth his while. Hey, how are you doing, uh, Zeophobic? Good to see you, my friend. Let's offer to help. My refinery's been combing the area for minerals, but there's a couple of types we're still missing. Huh. You scare up a rare one for me. Maybe we talk. That's okay. Right. Dude, that's awesome! Another alien, bro, for the win. Just remember why we're here. Friends are good. Information is better. All right. Well, I would say both are good, but that's just me. A good guy or a bad guy? Be advised. I am detecting a rare form of electrical energy nearby. Wait, what's going on? Oh, these things. <laughs> hey, hey, come talk to me. You can try and avoid Legion patrols all you want, but believe me, the only way to stop them is to take out their extractor. Okay. <laughs> Mud crabs, terrible creatures. <laughs> Essentially what you said, the old Skyrim NPC line. How you doing my friend? Good to have you here. Uh, we're waiting for the PlayStation 4 version, because this was a big unboxing. Right, and I got the PlayStation 4 version. The size of your ship. Ship off a chunk and bring it on back. Whoa, what the? It's a big, I'm gonna shoot it. Okay, you know what? It's just no selling my offense, so I'm just gonna keep going. <laughs> Aha, uh -huh, okay. Boom. 
Uh, what's, the, what's the button? There's, oh boy! Oh no! <laughs> Is that what I need? I think I've got what I need. <laughs> Let's move back to the guy. That was scary for a moment. It got on top of me. What the heck? A dodo? <laughs> Alright. PlayStation. Please again. Throw or attack the prickle bird to dislodge it. Get off. Alright. Complete the mission, and then, hopefully the PS4 will have done its thing. Come on, PS4. Be cool. Ow. Alright, deliver the item. There you go. That's done a thing. Explodes. Hey, we got close to it. Alright, is, uh, is that doing it? Alright, we're pretty close, Since we're pretty you close. Favor, I'll throw some of that electrum your way from time to time. Alright, let's talk. You wanna know about the underground, the gears running beneath our boots, our feathered foes behind the masks. Something like that. I'm helping some friends locate their captain. He was captured. Whoever's controlling the Legion, we think they did it. Doubt it. Grax doesn't like to show his face. So that's his name, huh? Was he the punk who sent those drakes? Drakes are his eyes and ears. He wouldn't have come himself unless they spotted something real pretty. Seems you piqued his interest. Why don't you help us both out and see for yourself? Okay, I guess we're doing that. However, the PlayStation 4 version should have done its thing now. I better set the uh, controller up with the ship on. So this is the starting ship. We used it in that moment. We were struggling a minute ago. Uh, and that's got the fire and the ice weapon attached to it. And the USB, which is really weird. Uh, and yeah, and of course we've got all of the rest of these ships. You know, we're playing the Star Fox one at the moment, which is the, is the most beautiful. And there's no cord attached to that. This thing looks absolutely great. And we have all of these... Uh, all of these things, places just full of ships. <laughs> all of these, all of these things, pretty awesome. I'll go back over to, uh, I'll go back over to full screen webcam actually, so we can switch over because we will need to switch over to the uh, the other one as well. But yeah, all of these, uh, all of these ships that came with it, pretty cool stuff. Had a bunch of these. This one's still my favourite looking one. Be nice to the uh, to display them as well as the pilot packs and all that good stuff. But anyway, guys, I am gonna hopefully, hopefully it's done its thing now. And at least where we've left it on the switch, if we need to switch back to it, then we won't be in a situation where we're getting attacked by uh, space pirates or whatever they were. All right, let's uh, attach that then, and we should be good to go. So here we go. Hopefully, it should be. Uh, it should be done. Close up MVL. How close is too close? Hmm? Hmm? Okay. It says there's a couple of seconds remaining for the update. So a couple of seconds. And we should be good to go. <laughs> Add a little bit of time on. It's more time to in enjoy our company, right? This, uh, yeah, I, I knew I needed to put the disc in to let it install the disc on it. But now look at what I'm going to look at what I'm going to have to be doing on this thing. Look at this. This. This is madness, right? I think I'll take this off actually, because then we'll start with like a generic ship. It's gonna come off, that is. <laughs> All right. There we go. Okay. All right. I'm worried about the plastic on these that keeps them attached. Anyway, turn the control. Installing the update file. Okay, it's, it's got. It's it's going. It's going. Okay. <laughs> There's that. I guess we can go over to the uh, capture window for the Starlink Battle for Atlas on the PlayStation 4. And when it when we came over to the Switch, there was confusion about how the controllers worked, which was really awkward. <laughs> I'm not used to that. I had the uh, Joy Cons in control too. I just didn't know why it wouldn't let me run it. Anyway, there we go. Same screens. Now I'm wondering what's going to be different 
what's going to be different from how we uh, how we opened with the uh, with the other version. This now is the PlayStation 4 version. Better late than never. We'll play this for a, we'll play this for a hot minute, and we'll see uh, we'll see how it uh, stacks up. See what it looks like compared. Of course, uh, games are not a safe system. Of course, we won't be able to um, we won't be able to use Star Fox. Actually, I'm gonna try putting Star Fox on during the game and see what happens. <laughs> That'll be funny. All right, let's begin. Oh, I might need to change some. Uh, might need to change some stuff actually on the options real quick, because this is the first time I've loaded this one. The gameplay and invert camera up and down. Yes, inverted. Always inverted. Okay. Um, always. Oh, I didn't know you could do this. You can stop it from pausing. Okay, interesting. All right, that seems good to me. And then subtitles. Space subtitles off. There we go. Yeah, that seems good. I think that's fine. Yep, let's do it. And then you've got the generic ship, but when we put this ship on, um, it should should switch us to this ship. There we go. You know what would be kind of interesting as well? If we took off like these wings. And like put on the R wait no, I can't put on the R wing wings, but we could put on like a different ship's wing. We could put on like this wing. Try that. Put on a different ship's wing. Oh, that's so weird. <laughs> that's cool. Alright, I don't want to mix up the ships too much though, because I'll forget how everything goes if I do that. We can go in wingless as well. Not sure if that would pose any benefit, but you know, what have you. Alright, everything's going to fall over. Alright, anyway, without further ado, let's try out the PS4 version with uh, this ship and weapon. And yeah, we've tried out some of the other weapons ships and weapons whilst we were getting our butts kicked <laughs> actually this would be a good time i think actually to see what happens if i do put if i do put star fox on this thing let's try it let's try it let's try putting uh star fox on the playstation 4 controller see what happens see what happens i'll put him on it might just say like oh just nothing happens i thought it might i thought an error message might come up or something okay never mind just nothing, just nothing if you put them on there. Alright, put the generic pilot on. There you go. And the uh, generic ship. There we go, okay. We are good to go. Start a new game. Man, this is this makes the controller really heavy. Alright, new game on easy. Yeah, that seems fine. Alright, and now I imagine this is going to be the same opening sequence, but without Star Fox. Without his inclusion. Because Star Fox was the most uplifting thing about that cinema, I think. So it'll be interesting to see how the hell it runs without him. Be interesting, that's to say the least. Okay. Update mount. Do your mount is securely connected. Oh, so. If you. Oh, there's, a, there's an update. <laughs> so <laughs> the game updated. And I was thinking we've, we've already done the tutorial on the Switch version. We don't need to do the tutorial again. But apparently the mount needs to be updated. So there's an update for that as well. Okay, okay, I guess, yeah. How long is this? Okay, it didn't take very long. Didn't take as long as the game took to update. Man. Why does it need to update? Because there's only one wave of figures. I'm confused. Rebooting mount. Okay, your mount is up to date. And you are ready to play. Well, I would decide if I'm ready to play, thank you. I am ready to play. Weird. Oh, he's got his own entrance. Basin. Okay, oh, okay. With that in mind, let me try putting on another pilot. We get one of the pilot's entrances. Okay. So take off the ship. Let me put on... I, I like this one. Let's put this one on. I have to take the pilot out. Oh, boy, that's in the, that's in the good... For that. Oh, that was cool. I'm actually going to check out all of the pilot screens now. <laughs> so there's that. Alright, I'll put it back on the ship. Alright, we're going we're gonna to be going with Mason's ship anyway. 
or some some I don't know why I'm putting them back in um, let me try the DLC ones I guess well I'll, I'll try all of the regular ones first so who would be next I guess the other ones come to mind it's got Levy next and Reza okay well kind of stuck in their ships <laughs> there we go all right let's try this guy Hunter, that was pretty cool. Alright, you looked pretty cool, Hunter. You looked pretty cool. I'll give you that, buddy. I'm actually not going to put him back in the ships. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to put him back in the ships. But they're a bit stiff in them. Uh, Alright, let's try this one. Oh, boy. This was the cool one, actually. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's a cool entrance. Alright. That was pretty cool. I like that. I like that. Uh, this guy, then. I guess we have to do this guy. The guy I found most annoying. There's a... Uh, oh. Levy. Mmm. That was pretty rubbish, man. Just a forward roll. I, f I thought his one would be rubbish. <laughs> Alright. Let's do the judge. Who was mentioned in the opening. I just fancy checking all of these out. Because they're pretty cool. Ooh, this is cool. Dude, I love these entrances. Alright. Dark Shade. Oh. That was pretty cool. Pretty cool. Coolest one thus far, of course, has been the uh, the uh, heavy metal one. Right, let's try a Star Tail. Oh, that was cute. <laughs> Very vanished, yeah. And then there's the two bounty hunters. I'll do them in the order we saw them in. Well, I mean, this guy wasn't a bounty hunter. The other one was. Ah. Hmm. Carl. Okay. And then this guy, who we just saw at the end of uh, the last game we played. I enjoy they all have their own entrances, that's pretty cool. Okay, we'll go to the standard pilot. We'll put them on. Oh. Standard pilot. Put them on the thing. We, do we need to see their entrance again? We've already seen it. <laughs> Maybe there's an option to skip that. Okay, there's Mason. And then we'll put the ship on. There we go. That's already got the weapons attached that I want. But uh, the back of it lights up a little bit. Pretty cool. And then, of course, you could take these wings off if you wanted to. You can see them, the wings come off on the uh, on the version there. Then you could like you could put on like these wings if you wanted to. Let's give that a go. You wanted to make the ship look a bit different. But it does it as you do it as well. That's cool. That's cool. Anyway, I'm going to put the wings it's supposed to have back on it. But it is cool that that happens. Alright. And that's a default ship, so I feel like we should start with that anyway. Anyway, sorry about that, guys. I know we went through the tutorial last time, uh, so I, I learned how to do this properly, but I wanted to see everything in action. Let's begin. Alright. See how the cutscenes look different. After making contact with an alien that crashed on Earth, astrophysicist Victor uh, St. Grand secretly recruited a team of pilots to explore stars. He named the alien Judge. Caught the team Starlink Initiative. I read that previously. I don't know why I paused on it this time around. 
aboard their Nova-powered mothership, the team arrives at the Atlas star system seeking answers about Judge's origins. I guess Judge just doesn't tell them. Maybe. I don't know. I imagine the cutscene's gonna look the same. It'd be interesting if the cutscene has any different scenes to it to make up for not having the Star Fox crew. We're here. Atlas. Jewel of the Pleiades. <gasps> look! <laughs> Welcome to Atlas. Man, I'm gonna get so many hits back on Earth. No, you're not. Levi? No one's supposed to know about this. I'm not gonna change that. Chase, Levi, one of you will need to be outside to help Hunter with the escort. Okay. Wait! He said one of us. <laughs> Incredible. I can't believe you've been doing this for a whole year. Our third trip. Hasn't gotten old yet. It was Alkiani last, now Atlas. The artifact we're collecting here might just be the breakthrough we need. We're closer than ever now. I know it. Proximity warning. There's shade. Delivery is coming in hot. Right. Let's get our ears on. Can you hear me? What happened? Do you have it? Yeah, but these guys don't like it when you steal from them. Sensitive types. Could use a little help here. Off they go indeed. She's not gonna make it. Get to the Equinox. We're coming. I'll man the bridge. Judge. Take Mason with you to the hangar. We need to buy time for me to jumpstart the engine. Are you sure? Maybe I should help you in the reactor. They've never used Starlink before. Go show them what it can do. Take my ship. You're ready. Ready. Okay. Dramatic pose. It's a cool build up. I guess we're just gonna skip the uh, Star Fox part. Here's all the ships. I like seeing the ships in action. That's bad. About to get a whole lot worse. Alright, I want to see what the gameplay looks like in contrast. You can uh, look back on the screen and see the uh, Switch version. I want to see the uh, difference visually between them when we get in game. I've seen side by side pictures. Oh, it's so stay frosty and bring that delivery home. Okay, it, I got this. It does look a lot better. I'm not gonna Shane, sugarcoat it. Single. Everybody here has got leaf and lizard brains. I meant, how are you holding up? <laughs> I'm still alive, aren't I? Good. St. Grand's got another minute on the reactor. Get ready to wrap it up. Textures are popping, though. I can see the textures coming in. No Star Fox. Of course. Take that. Oh, I've got my weapon on backwards. <laughs> my weapon's on backwards. I'm like, why is it shooting the wrong way? There we go. Now we, now we're good. Now we can shoot forward. <laughs> I tell you what, maybe the ice weapon on backwards might be a good shout. Starlink database updated. Then it can, because that homes in. Pew pew pew! I know, right? There's a, There's a lot of them out here. Hang in there. I'm not certain, but I think the Star Fox ship handles better. That's right. Hey, nice work, new kid. Thanks. 
And of course, that was all just a distraction. St. Grant, how's it going down there? I'm almost there. Tell them to hang on a few minutes longer. Uh oh. Breach in reactor hull. Everyone, back to the ship. The reactor's been breached. On our way. Just one more left. Going, turning the weapons back was there. Saint Grand. Take him with us. Caresses his head a lot with his fingers. In a later scene. Neutralize us. Take away judge as well. What? Uh oh. Just no, no, not no, no, in time. No. Oh. Oh, and then we go crashing down to the planet. I will say the cutscene makes a little more sense uh, with without the yeah. additional characters. Equinox pilots, come in. The Equinox has crashed. Hunter, it's Mason. I'm alive. Where are you? I repeat. The Equinox has crashed. All pilots picked up. Ah, uh, there's too much interference. Alright, let's see if we can get ourselves back on track. Recover! Pilot ship online. All systems on reserve power. Man. Sage, I need to get back to the Equinox. Get a scan up. Negative. Equinox Nova depleted. All long range communications disrupted. What? Nova depleted? I guess I gotta find it myself then. Honestly, the graphics look a lot better, but it's it's still like there's no Star Fox, so. <laughs> All right, let's try out some of the opening scenes. Yeah, I think if you put these side by side, it would be notable. Analysis complete. Recommend short range weaponry. Oh boy, take off. There go the imps. All right, let's go. Looks like a way out. Yes, the equinox. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, oh, come on. This is complete. Recommend elemental combination. All right, Cyclops. Boop. Boop. You can freeze them and then blast them. There you go. What the heck was that? I think that's all of them. Mason, is that you? Chase, Ugh. you're safe. What happened? Is everyone all right? It's okay. Cancel. It's taking me oh, with man, it. That is such great news. <laughs> okay, let's get moving. Saint Grant's still out there. <laughs> Whatever that thing is. The Those worm from June. Saint Grant also stole our reactor. Oh. There's a backup, but until we get more fuel, we're not going anywhere. <laughs> what? We can't just stay here. There's got to be something we can do. Maybe there is. Check your map. Check my map. Now we're a puny human. All right, touchpad to activate. There's your look ship. at look how I have to play this. See everything look at the this. Scan radius. Oh my the goodness. The rest of the planet's uncharted territory for it's now. Nonsense. Razor, I am picking up an alien signal nearby. Wait, is that judge? Worth checking out. Feel free to give the map a spin. Not much to it now. But once we explore more of this place, it'll definitely come in handy. All right, set destination. Okay, you guys keep working on repairs. I'll go find help. If Be Judge careful. can, we don't know what's out there. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll tell you one thing that's out there: a bunch of killer robots. Killer uh, robots. Killer We've robots. Seen what? Drakes and a couple of cyclopses. Whee. Hold up, hold Still up. Well, uh, wait, th this is normal to you people? 
Get used to it or go home. The Legion's been here way longer than the rest of us. So there's no extra buttons, you just need to have the mount on the controller. We don't need to, because th this mount is attached by USB. I, so I guess this doesn't even need to be on the controller. Interesting idea. If I take this off the controller, can I still change... Or oh, how do I take it off safely? <laughs> Please don't tell me I'm stuck with Starlink on my controller for the rest of time. Oh man, smack me in the face. Okay, so this is, this is attached by USB, right? So can I still switch stuff? Interesting question. I'm going to try switching a weapon real quick. See what happens. If it still works, then I don't need it attached to my controller. Take that off. You totally still can. You totally still can. That's the volcano there. Good, good shout, Shawnee. I don't need this on my controller. It's because it's attached by USB. So the Switch one you would need attached to your Joy-Cons. Um, but that one doesn't have a wire to it. Um, but then I used the Pro Controller with that. There you go. Okay, we don't need that attached. <laughs> it's permanently attached to my controller. The only game I can play in the future is Starlink. <laughs> Alright, let's follow follow the arrows. Man, that's so much more comfortable now. It's not a weighty as it was. Now, I know people often speak about weight to the controller, but they mean weight as in, like, it feels quality. They don't mean weight as in it's damn heavy. <laughs> The only controller I would say that feels too light is the PS3 um, six-axis controller. Um, I'm, I think it's it feels too light because it feels lighter than PS2 controller. But the Dual Shock Three is when they added the Rumble because they didn't have Rumble when it launched because they were they had uh, issues with the rights for it. But then later <laughs> they were like, "Oh, this generation is not about." Hey, Hello. the signal's coming from a kind of building. You think they're friendly? Let's hope so. Go say hi. We'll I'll be here say hi to this guy. Talk to me. Hello. I'm just returning with some samples. Remember to bring any biological material uh. you find back to an observatory. No. <laughs> um, they were like, oh, rumble isn't, isn't a thing for this generation. Yeah, we're, we're, motion controls are instead. But it's just because they, they couldn't put it in their controller at the time. And then they released one later on that did have uh, rumble in it. It's a bit heavier, so I don't have that one actually. I only have the dual sense. Alright, talk. Well, look who finally decided to show. Wait, Ooh. you're not Thicket. <sighs> I'll never get any work done at this rate. Uh, hi. Listen, my name is Mason. Our flagship crashed. We were hoping you had fuel. Fuel? Fuel? Do you have any idea how busy I am and the mountain of work on my desk? Speaking of which, you haven't seen a sad sack of a bion walking around, have you? No. Maybe we can help each other? Interesting. This is a different character. We would have had, uh, we would have had Carl on the Switch version. I wonder why it's a different character. Maybe we're supposed to be looking for Carl. That's interesting. He first held the nunchuck, you thought it was really light. Yeah, you know, I think the controller that everyone's held wrong the first time is probably the N64 one, because it has, like, three handles. And uh, like most people, I sort of grab the outside handles rather than the middle one, because the middle one's where the thumbstick is. But speaking of the N64 controller, I've been playing the um, Super Mario All-Stars for the N64 game, Super Mario 64, on the Switch recently. And I was surprised at how much easier I found it using the Switch Pro Controller. Um, so I think I'm going to end up getting... There's... Um, I can't remember who makes it, but there's like an N64 controller, like a modern one. And it looks really cool. And you know, I got my uh, I got my N64 modded, um, the Brawler 64. Yeah, I'm thinking if I get one of those Brawler 64s, because then it'll be so much more comfortable. There we go. I had to look it up. All right. I sent Thicket to drop a beacon, and that Cretan set it right next to an imp hive. I need that hive destroyed. Then we can talk about fuel. Okay, let's do it. I've got just the thing. Interesting, different Dude, character. You just made friends with an alien. That's like historical. So what? I don't count? But you're not a... <gasps> you're an alien? Technically, you're the alien here. With your weird skin and all that oh. hair. What did that? Ugh. What just hit me? Whoa. I'm an alien. Ha! That's why I'm so smart. What's that? Oh, is that thing? Oh, boy. So you said I need to clear out an uh. empire. Yeah. Whoa, Imps why is this thing so powerful? Kind of if you ask me, total pass. Best way to get rid of them is to roast them. 
So, fire? I think we can handle that. Oh boy, I can't. <laughs> run away, run away. Oh my goodness, why is that so powerful? Normal oh, it's still shooting me. Effective against target shield. Reflect turret projectiles with your active shield to lower its defenses. Oh, I need to use this? Okay, no, I'm not taking that. I'm, I'm fighting that thing. Yeah, the N64 controller is pretty awkward. I think I, I, you know, I used it at the time. Proximity alert. Outlaw fortifications detected. But that deflect back at it. Oh, I just rammed it. <laughs> Normal weaponry is ineffective against target shield. Oh boy. Reflect turret projectiles with your active shield to lower its defenses. Oh boy, how do I? <laughs> I want to know how to defeat this thing. Oh boy. Okay, that's not reflecting it at all. We're going to run away again. <laughs> run away! <laughs> it can't defeat that thing. Um, yeah, because it is an interesting draw, the N64 one. Because you can hold it, um, you know, in, in different ways. And you have access to all the controls regardless. The uh, Genesis, or as we call it, the Mega Drive controller is really good. In fact, um, I used to be a big fan of joysticks. That's why I play with, you know, looking version all the time in most games. Because I'm used to joysticks on, like, the Commodore and the Amiga. I'm used to using a joystick. And uh, that's how I'd often have it with uh, with games that did that. Especially on, like, the Amiga. Um, and with, like, you know, first persons on the Amiga, which is pretty cool. Uh, and even on PC, you know, you used joy the joystick port. And I'd have stuff inverted. Enemy um, analysis complete. Structural weakness identified. Oh. But the Genesis controller actually works on the Commodore 64 as well, which is really cool. Or the Mega Drive controller, I should say. Uh, I think I made him mad. I made him mad! Uh oh, take him off! Too many of them. Uh. Take that, imps! All right, let's wreck him. Wow, this weapon is rubbish. <laughs> it's bouncing off it. There we go. There we go. The hive's been destroyed. Say goodbye, hive. Capable, then you look. I've got the electrum for you, as promised. Oh, uh, actually, our ship takes Nova. Nova? Who are you, and where are you from? Well, most of us are from a planet called Earth. Or more specifically, New Jersey. The only way to obtain Nova in Atlas is to take a core from an extractor. If you're feeling bold and foolish, it should appear on your map. Nice, a proper PC joystick. Oh yeah, they do work with the, um, with the Commodore 64, same port. Now that we have helped this observatory, our visibility on the planet has increased. Oh yeah, joystick. Here's the region extractor. Looks like that's our target. Oh. All right, set destination. Joystick you know was awesome. Are legion machines. They used to be easy to salvage, but since the reawakening, they don't like giving up their course. But you proved me wrong once, so by all means, go get one. Then bring me the core, and you'll be on your way. I still got a bunch of PC joysticks around, uh, like the Thrustmaster. Whoa, look, at <laughs> I love it. It's called Thrustmaster. Right. The extractor should be just inside. Really? All right. And the cheetah joystick. I think it was called. That was a good one. I wonder why it's a different character on the PS4 updated. version. Like it's a lady alien instead of a man. I wonder why. Maybe she's one of the DLC characters. Enemy analysis complete. Siege weaponry recommended. And that was changed in the update, perhaps. Okay. Once we use a flamethrower. I'm going to attach the flamethrower to this because the weapon I was using was rubbish. <laughs> there we go. Flamethrower attached, there we go. Good job I don't need to have that one there. Alright, let's do it. Massive! First you'll need to target the nodes along the perimeter. Aim for the red power cells. Fortunately there's only one node. The extractor's core will be exposed. Ooh, helps if I hit it. Ooh. Nope, deactivated. That's it. Review the yourself to disabled. me. Now's your chance to hit the extractor. And Ooh. dodge those lasers. Lasers! 
We got it. Extractor destroyed. All right. It's down. Doing it's game. I think. Sweet. Now grab that core and get out of there. The oh. core is in the center of the extractor. Get a good hold on it and pull back, just not too hard. Got oh. it. I don't think you understand how rare Nova is Can't around these parts. Out that. You could make quite the fortune with your abilities. I don't get it. Can't you just make more Nova? <laughs> is that a joke? Oh. We have Electrum, but not even I know how to refine it. The only remaining Nova is inside those Legion machines, and most folks aren't as deranged as you are. Wow. I wonder if St. Grand knows about this. Come again? Our captain, St. Grand, he learned how to create Nova. That's how we got here. Did hmm. you just... Did you just say your captain can make Nova, but now he's missing? That's why we're here. Well, let's hope you find him. A mine like that isn't something you want to waste. She's saying virtually the same lines as the other guy as well. Interesting. Oh, that's a big dinosaur. Look at the size of that tower. What the size of that I'm thing? I'm getting the feeling there's a lot we don't know about Atlas. Oh boy. I'm not going to mess with the locals because that turret wrecked me a moment ago. To fly on by. Alright, let's do it. Yeah, I love using joysticks. Um, I actually got a joystick for the Mega Drive because I remember... There's a game I played on the Amiga, or uh, the Chaos Engine, also I'm known as. Oh boy! Somebody help! I'll help. help. There must be a hive nearby. Oh boy! We're repair it. Eliminate them. Thank there you, you go. Thank you so much. Now I can return to my studies. Targets destroyed. There you go. Hive Thank nearby, you, perhaps. Friend. I would have been fun of fertilizer without your help. You're good. Repair him. There Thank you, go. you so much. Make it up for now earlier. I return to my studies. Is that the same thing as the other one? All right. Go so talk to him. Huh? Oh, you're back. Okay. Deliver the item. Here's the core. That everything you need? It should only take a moment to extract what Nova I can. Thanks. You've been a big help. If you meet other members of the expedition on your travels, I'm sure they'll also be happy to help. Stay safe out there. Oh, we're trying. Oh, and come back to visit sometime. We're always open. Interesting, she didn't offer to come with you like the other character did. You didn't want to come with me. Okay, everyone. I got the Nova. <laughs> Heading back to the Equinox now. Nice work. See right. you soon. Back to the Equinox. I thought she might have been a DLC character or something they might have added to the start because I knew there are three new ships. One of them's a, a green alien lady. I don't know what the other ones are, but they can only be obtained digitally, because the wave two was not. They only made one wave of figures, which I have all of them now. Oh. Almost there. <laughs> no. Once we get the Nova Watch loaded, out for the aliens. To go. Creatures. We find Saint Grad. That's right. Yeah, unless he's, you know. Levi, oh, Levy. What the heck? What? Oh. I hope he isn't. I'm just saying. Don't worry, he's our captain. We won't let him down. We won't let him down. I don't think Judge communicates with you then. That was that guy speaking to me earlier. Doesn't recognize the voices of the characters or the names. Some of them. Remember Levi, Levi, because he's annoying. <laughs> hey, I'm here. So how do I transfer the Nova? Open your ship's computer. You should be able to launch the repair sequence from the Equinox screen. All right. And that is done by pressing the options button. Okay. Do it. Okay. Nice. Nice. If we find any more goodies around here, maybe we can upgrade the Equinox even more. Until then, let's see if this works. Alright. Blast off. This was a precision strike. They must have tracked our core through the hall. Well, this isn't enough Nova to draw anyone's attention, that's for sure. But Mason's calculations are right. Should be just enough to get us airborne again. Yeah, or just enough to be blown to pieces. Told you it was annoying. Hit it, Chase. Up, up, and away!
straight to the sky. Flight capabilities restored. That's your cue. Meet us in orbit and we'll go over the next steps. Okay. We're coming, St. Grant. I'm coming. My engine's there, but we just enabled them. There we go. <laughs> Whee! Epic title screen. Seamless transition into space. Pretty cool. Nice. I have to say, graphics do look nicer, but no Star Fox. Game. Right to the Equinox. Again, this scene won't include Fox, so it'll be interesting to see how it plays out. Get over there. Fast as we can. The space. All right, there Starlink we go. database updated. I don't think I need to dock, I just need to get close to it. Cutscene will play. Cinema plays out. I have waited so long for this. The caress his face with his hands. I saw this moment many years ago. Wardens showed me, and now the gift appears. The time has come to harvest Nova. Nova? Stop touching his face. When the Warden Gods departed so long ago, they took with them the secrets to Nova. You must feed my legion. Look, if you want Nova, it's no trouble. But first, I'm gonna need to get back to my crew. Your crew is lost. And then the things from Wrath of Khan are gonna use on him. You show me how to make Nova. And you will kneel before your border. The Wrath of Khan, Khan put those in. Thanks, Judge. The Enterprise crew to control them, I imagine the same thing. As Razor here. Yeah, I'm getting the names. <laughs> Works on that tech. Listen. I got contacts. They might know who took St. Grant. Let's talk to them first. This is the only intel I trust. The Legion's got a hierarchy, and order's gotta come from somewhere. Let's crack a few more open and see where that gets us. That's not very diplomatic, but it could work. What are we waiting for? Let's get out there. All right. Interesting. How the scenes play out without uh, Star Fox and company. Man, Levi, Levi's annoying. Come on. Oh. That guy. Anyway, guys, there you go. We've we've had a look at both versions of the game. Hold on. We've had a look. I need to show you something. Open your ship's computer. Oh, show me something. Um, there you go. We've had a look at the Switch version and the PlayStation 4 version. Not to mention, we've unboxed absolutely everything Starlink that came out. Um, all of the ship packs, all of the weapons, all of the pilots, and the box sets themselves. I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing them and seeing the gameplay compared from one to another. We did have to wait for the update on the PlayStation 4 version. A couple of glitches along the way, but we did get there, my friends. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being a part of this. Just remains for me to say, my uh, regular stream days are Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. From around about the same time, we'll be streaming something new tomorrow. Fear not. I encourage you to follow me on social media there's a link to my twitter on the front page of my channel you can be notified whenever i post stuff on my twitter and there's a notification bell down below as well which should notify you whenever i go live and things like that other than that guys if you like the video be sure to leave a like or a comment to let me know what you think and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for more awesome content and if you'd like to you can also support me for patreon or youtube channel membership it was pretty cool thank you for being here my friends thank you for watching i've been mvl and i will catch you next time